Hey, what's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? <clears throat> How y'all doing on this Friday night? <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, hey, y'all. <clears throat> what's up? Hey, cousin. What's up, Bryson? <laughs> Hello. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What's up? How y'all doing this Friday night? Dang, y'all already sent a request? It's, it's not a request right now. <clears throat> hey, Yada. What's up? What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Um, I'll do a request later. You look so beautiful in your pictures the other day. Thank you. Did y'all like the photo shoot? Thank you for happy birthday to my mama. Hey, Meek. Hey, Tamika. <clears throat> uh, yes, everybody's in the house because it's freezing. It's freezing everywhere. Atlanta ain't that cold, y'all, but I heard Texas is about to get that work. I know Dallas is, and I'd say prayers for everybody that were involved in that crash and stuff. <laughs> Your dimples, what? They stay out. <laughs> y'all saw my mama. Y'all know they, y'all know. <laughs> they come out. <clears throat> yeah, I just can't wait to get the pictures and really show y'all the finished product of it. Thank y'all for coming on. And even then, thank y'all for coming on, supporting, and kind of being a part of the process. You know, it's like we all became family. Yes, look at that smile. Of course, I'm always smiling. <laughs> um, yeah, that car was fired. My managers, do they, they do their thing. I ain't even going to lie. They made sure that everything was in order, and it was great. Yes, it's cold here in Pearland, too. I heard Dallas is going to get some Monday. Oh, no. <clears throat> yes, I do get it from my mama. So, you know, kind of just some formalities knocked that out the way. But I just kind of wanted to talk to y'all. Y'all know I always come on here on Friday. I don't know why I feel like I'm in a principal's office right now. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> um, But yes. I kind of just wanted to come on here to kind of talk to y'all. You know, I get it all the time. You know, y'all ask me questions. Y'all watch the show. Y'all supported me. You know, y'all keep me on my toes <laughs> constantly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk and just kind of, you know, say hey to my cousins and my extended family on here. <laughs> and just kind of let y'all know what's been going on with me. Um, a lot of the times y'all ask, y'all go in and be like, oh, what's going on with Hollywood? What's going on with, you know, everybody else? Y'all do that all the time. And I kind of just wanted to update y'all because I feel like, you know, y'all family, y'all need to know y'all ask all the time. Yes. Y'all always ask what's the status when the wedding plans was going on. And I, y'all asked me about my ring. It's never on, but I just wanted to kind of come on here just briefly and just talk to y'all and let y'all know that, um, uh, Hollywood and I have decided to part ways. We are, uh, no longer together and it is amicable. It is not anything that's crazy or rah-rah or just whatever, you know, it's just, we just decided to part ways and, um, uh, for now, it's, you know, it's for the best. So right now, it's time for healing. It's time for growth. It's time for moving forward. And it is time for, you know, getting everything together. I mean, I understand to some people it's a shock. Some people it's sad. And, you know, everybody's like, no. And, you know. But, <clears throat> I mean, y'all know how I am. With me, everything is, is God's will. And if, you know, whatever his will is, is what it's going to be for me. So, don't be sad, y'all. Don't be sad. <laughs> and I understand why y'all said y'all have invested a lot of time with us. You know, y'all have invested 11 weeks on a TV show on own for on put a ring on it. You know, y'all did that. You know, and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Like, no lie. I think a lot of people um noticed you know that even during the show like it was certain things that I kind of struggled with because I think I'm used to putting other people before me you know especially when you love somebody you know you try you go hard and that's normally who I am and what I do but I've learned that at some point in time I've had to be 
you know, like now I have to be selfish with me. I have to be selfish with my time. Yes, you say I look happy. I am happy, you know, because it's just a realization that it's not anything bad. We don't have any animosity. It's not fighting. It's none of that kind of stuff. But it's something that I felt like needed, you know, to be done at this point. So, you know, it, it has been a wonderful up and down. I ain't going to say the whole time is wonderful, but, you know, for nine years, you know, you know somebody. You know them. They know you, you. You're comfortable. And, you know, neither one of us, you know, I can't really speak for him, but I'm really going to speak for me that I wanted to be not just with someone because of time, because of the time invested in it. And believe me, I've taken advice from tons of people, family, friends, but... For me, this is something that I've prayed long and hard for. It's something that, you know, I know for me was the right thing to do. So it's, you know, it's no bashing to him. He's a great man, you know, and I thank him for what he was to me at that time, you know, because when I met Al, it was just, you know, he was definitely something that I needed, you know, that energy, that love. I definitely deserved that, you know, well, needed that at that time. But, you know, sometimes, you know, people grow apart. You grow apart. You know, you don't see things, certain things the same. And certain times, you know, even from the show, you know, learning that, oh, well, you can renegotiate things you want. And that really stuck with me, you know. So I decided that I needed to renegotiate. <laughs> so, yes, it is definitely you know, next chapter, bigger and better things, not just saying like in a relationship, but as far as like, you know, focusing on my career, I moved out to Atlanta to, um, you know, pursue my career and to do that and to kind of get clarity on what I wanted to do in that relationship. And y'all going, like, I really felt like going into that show. Sometimes I felt like I was a little stuck at times, um, and not necessarily stuck, just not moving. I just felt really just there. I think stuck is just the easier word to use. <laughs> but, you know, going on the show, it opened my eyes to a lot of things that I feel like I have to have and that I, I cannot um, just go with the flow anymore. And it's like once your eyes are open, sometimes it feels like you can't just let it go. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go back to certain things. And so I'm not saying he's a he's a bad guy because he's not. He's a very good guy. He was a very good guy to me. Um, during our relationship, you know, but it's just something that we both decided to amicably, amicably <laughs> move on. So yeah, I was complacent, a little stagnant. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, my ATL cousins welcome me. Thank you. <laughs> you can't go back to sleep. Nah. Yeah. It's kind of hard to go back. <laughs> Miss Chooza, you missed it. No, nah, I am going to save it. No, nah, but seriously, yeah. And I do agree. Sometimes, you know, your standards change. Sometimes your gauge of like, you know, what you want and what you see, you know, changes. And that's what happened with me. That standard changed. I think it changed, though, just throughout the course of the relationship. And I think I held on a lot of the times because, you know, I love him. Like I can't say that I don't. You know, I love him. But it was just... um it just got to the point where sometimes you feel like you outgrow a relationship or you outgrow a situation. And like I said, that's no slight to him, you know, at all. Cause he is, you know, he's a bomb guy. He's a nice, amazing man. You know, anyone would be blessed to get a guy like him, you know, but you have to know what you want at the times in your lives that you want it. So, um, Yes, definitely okay to renegoti renegotiate my values and morals in a relationship. Definitely. Um, so that's, you know, who is she talking about? I'm talking about Hollywood. Y'all, girl, what is she talking about, Red Sky? <laughs> um, would you say that the show helped you with your decision? The show opened my eyes. It really did. The show really did open my eyes. Um, and it did help me make my decision. I said it from the jump. Even on the show, if you watch it back, I wanted to go on that show to gain clarity because what I was doing, what we were doing, it was not helping. Like it was not, um, it wasn't like progressing. It wasn't going anywhere. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted to be there to say, you know what? I want to do it for real. And that's why I did it for real. That's why I made sure every process 
or every you know opportunity that I had on that show to learn from Dr. Nicole, to go on the dates, to do whatever. I feel like every part of that experience woke me up. I did. I needed clarity. And I think I was fighting it during the show. I was fighting it because you fight against things that's just not familiar to you. And that was familiar. That relationship was very familiar. I love him lots, but um, I just needed, I needed that as a wake up call. And so now I feel like I'm up. <laughs> so now it's time to move, you know, do what you have to do. So I wish him nothing but the best. I love him. He's a great guy. I wish him nothing but the best. And I just, um, and I know he wishes the same for me. You know, our conversations that we've had in the past after the, you know, the show is the same thing. You know, it's reciprocated. We really feel the same that, that he wants me to be happy and I want him to be happy. Will you guys remain friends? Of course. Um, you know, I don't think we're going to be going to no barbecues and nothing right now. <laughs> but uh, remain friends? Yes, definitely. I definitely think we will be remaining friends. I mean, at some point in time, we'll be able to communicate as friends. But now I'm not really sure how that's going to, you know, go. So, yeah. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. Uh, let me see. So going forward. Yes, I will be taking this time. Well, I have been taking the time, you know, to be honest, I've been taking this time to heal, been taking this time to grow, been taking this time to, you know, focus on me, kind of get back to me, get back to what Ashley needs, what Ashley wants, and not necessarily in a relationship, but just as a person, you know, and get on my grind, get on my focus. Like, this is why I came here for that focus. So I appreciate all y'all saying that y'all wish me happiness, peace, and love, and everything so i i really appreciate that all the support that y'all always given to me it means a lot and i know i say that a lot and i come on here every friday and i talk to y'all but really i really appreciate y'all love i feel it um i feel all of the love i feel all of the support i feel everything you know and i thank y'all for that i thank y'all for that for being team ashley and always giving me encouraging words and you know coming onto my posts or coming in my dm like giving me encouraging words and i appreciate that from the bottom of my heart and also to clear anything up um because i'm trying not to read the comments because y'all know i get distracted real quick <laughs> but um i'm not i'm not dating anybody at the current moment at all so it's just like that was not the motivation for this okay that is not the motivation uh, for me to date anybody, for me to see anybody, for me to call up the dude that was on the show. No, that is that has nothing to do with this moment. This moment is about Ashley. You know, this moment is about me. And um, and it's, it's not about anybody else. And I've always said that no one else will dictate or affect my decision when it comes to this but me. You know, so... Yes, so Team Ashley. Thank you, Team Ashley. <laughs> oh, so she's single. Why are you asking down there like I can't read the comment? Yes, I'm single. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's important that sometimes, you know, ladies, I do. I Honestly, I would say if anyone else is kind of going through, you know, a similar situation, please take it to God. You don't need to involve everybody in your business and do all of that kind of stuff, but take it to God and pray on it and be intentional. And that's what I chose to do with the time that, you know, we kind of had transitioning for a little while, kind of going back and forth, talking about it. You know, I was intentional about you know, what I wanted. And I prayed, I asked God for strength, you know, and it's been difficult because it's been nine years we've been together, you know I mean? And that love just does not go away. If it's true, if it's real love, it does not go away. You can fall in and out of love forever, you know, forever, but you know, the love is real. So, but yes, you look pretty today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, I'm not focusing on anybody, but that's 1777, <laughs> but I do appreciate y'all. Listen to your heart, you know, yes, God speaks in many ways, and that's what I do. I listen to my heart. I make sure that, you know, I'm real to me, and I think that's why a lot of y'all really identify with me is because I, I listen to me. I be authentic, and I show y'all who I really am, you know, so yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, but yes, I'm just smiling hard. Whoa, <laughs> I'm smiling hard because I'm happy. Like, honestly, y'all, hey, Christine, yes, I'm you know, listen, I'm a smile because that's who I am, that's who Ashley is, that's what I do. Self love is definitely needed, and I make sure that that's what you know I go for self love, you know, 
And I, I listen, y'all, y'all know, I pray I ask God to guide me and it is what it is. I don't know if y'all want, you know, like some people be wanting the drama, wanting to see certain things, but y'all not, y'all not going to get that from me, you know, because I'm, I don't have drama in my life. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, nah, you know, take this time to heal, to grow, to focus, to do some things. And, um, uh, just spending time with your family recently help you with your decision. No, um, this, this, this decision was, uh, has been made for a little bit of time. Okay, Tamika, I'm going to add you. This little decision, um, this decision has been made um, for, you know, for a while, you know, but I chose to kind of sit on it. You know, we, like I said, you know, we had been transitioning for a little bit. And so I had been praying and, you know, praying on it. And God spoke to me today and said today was the day. So, um I just wanted to kind of come on here and that, yeah, right. I don't owe y'all anything. You're right. I do not, but you're so welcome for me sharing. Like I just have to share nothing happened. Uh, Rich Mika, it's just, you know, it's just something that I wanted to kind of let y'all know what was going on. It's nothing happened. Nothing that sparked and it's like, Oh, we done. We done. Nah, it's just, you know, <laughs> it's just what it was. It's what it is. What's the decision? You missed it. The decision is that I'm single. <laughs> for y'all that's just joining in with me i just was letting everybody know that um i am single now uh and you know hollywood and i have decided to part ways amicably and i must say that it is no one else it's no one else is the cause no one else is the reason it's just us it was our relationship but um but yeah just wanted to let y'all know um, the show didn't break me. The show woke me up to certain things that I feel like I need in my life uh, for as far as a husband or like moving to that next step. Um, but I definitely don't think the, the show did it. I think, you know, we are the ones that's controlling this relationship. And if, you know, certain things aren't on the same page, then we have the option and the right to decide whether we want to be with each other or not. So anyway. Oh, yeah. You're right, Greg. I do need to put a pen. What should the pen be? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> and I appreciate you for loving us together. I do. I appreciate y'all for loving us together. I appreciate y'all for watching the show. Like I said, you know, I appreciate all of that. You know, but I just want to be transparent and I just, you know, God speaks. Yes, 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 yes. Love, love it all. <laughs> so now nah, y'all can stop talking exactly y'all can stop asking where hollywood at hollywood is in houston probably living his best life you know which i want him to so <laughs> oh i gotta put i'm single well i don't want to put it like <laughs> um but yes so um samika right quick because i'm not um i know she said she got a surprise to me i gotta see what that surprise is but um let's see samika wanted to let y'all know no nah, don't be sorry Sorry, you know, everything happens for a reason. And God got both of us. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Look who I got with me. Hey, y'all. Hey. Girl, girl, we was like, you better get in that car and go upstairs in my room and do this live. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Come over to me. Oh, me. Oh, wait. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. I might come over. I might come over when I'm done with my live. So I'm going to hit y'all up when I'm done and come and see y'all. Uh -huh. I love y'all. How you doing, though? You good? I'm glad you're, you know, uh -huh. coming live and being honest and, you know, truthful about everything that's going on. Because I know a lot of people have been asking what's going on with y'all. So we're here to support yeah. you. <laughs> Right. And I appreciate that. Y'all know y'all always had my back. And, like, I appreciate every bit of advice, every bit of everything. Y'all just listening to me vent or whatever. I appreciate all of that, you know. And I just felt like now was the time for me to just speak my truth. I don't have to hide my finger. I ain't got to do all of this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know. But, yeah, girl, I feel better. I feel like a load is lifted off because I don't have to just, you know. Yeah. Or this pretends anymore. And although you don't really owe anybody an explanation, right. but at the end of the day, we were on the show, so I understand why people do are curious and they do want to know if you guys are still together. So right. yeah, the clarification is yeah. yeah, definitely. And you know me, girl, I'm an open book. I feel like if I didn't say a lot of the stuff that I didn't already said on this show, like you know what I'm saying, I know a lot of people want to get the the ending of it. They want to get the you know like what happened, what you know. 
type of thing. And I understand that. And so, you know, I waited until I felt like it was a for sure for me to be able to clarify and to do, you know, to do that, you know. So, but yes, listen, I just definitely want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much. Like, seriously, thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for really being my sisters. Because now y'all are my sisters. Y'all ain't my castmates. Y'all are my sisters. And I know y'all got <laughs> Did you start singing Girlfriends? I really? Should. You already know I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You gotta go. Go, Ben. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, yeah. What's up? What's up? <laughs> uh, Y'all want me to hit that note? Go ahead. 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 Exactly. But yes, no, but I definitely will call y'all. I'm going to hit y'all up when I'm done because um, I'm not going to stay on here all night. How long y'all going to be over there? Girl, we just got here, what, about a 40 minutes ago? We have a slumber yeah. party. You better yeah. not have a slumber party. Don't listen to this. How about you can get in your car and get this lab while you drive? Yeah, you can do the lab while you drive. That's all. How about? <laughs> and you listeners are cooking. That's all you need to know. They cooking. They got a whole seafood. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Let me show you. Vince, you know I like to eat. Stop. <laughs> Why y'all didn't tell me that before I, I just ate? Right, girl. And I got this whole birthday cake cake over here. She got a birthday cake. Birthday cake cake. It's a birthday cake cake, girl. It's so good. You know, I can't, we can't, we can't, we can't eat Look at her face. And we know you like sweets. <laughs> You know, know I love like sweet, sweet. Man. <laughs> Sorry to take over your life, but you need to come over and eat, Ashley. I look, I just <laughs> ate. <laughs> what up? <laughs> come over and have some food, sis. We'll text you the address. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, text me the address, and I'm going to hit y'all as soon as I'm done. Okay. okay. Right. Love y'all. I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all. Love you. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Y'all, why do they get me with food? Y'all know they know I love food. <laughs> then she chilling with us. Yes, I'm chilling with y'all. <laughs> You're about to get a pineapple. Nikki, don't start, Nikki. Do not start. <laughs> yeah, but they are so sweet, honestly. And I really feel like I needed my girls. Like, I've always talked to them and always had, you know, they always have my back. And even the guys, like Vince and, and, and Mike and Shay, all of them, they always have my back. Anytime I've ever had any concerns, any anything, they've always had my back. So that's just, you know, what it is. <laughs> the food is the best way to motivate. Y'all, I'm telling you, I just, I'm greedy, especially sweets. I'm greedy. Nikki, make me some cookies. <laughs> but yes, anyway, Let's go. Garland dropping by. Who is Garland? <laughs> what you mean you're single? Um, what it means. I don't know what else I need to say. Yes, it is very good to have good friends at this time. Seriously, I have a bunch of them and some other friends. My friend Erica and Shreve, well, she always got my back. Um, <laughs> I am greedy, Keisha. <laughs> don't be heartbroken. Listen. Yes, I am single. Do not be heartbroken. I'm telling y'all. Like, seriously, God has a plan for everything. And I know that, okay? So I just, don't be upset. I'm happy for y'all to have my back. I'm serious. I'm so grateful. I am taking my, taking time, you know, for myself and to myself. And that's, you know, I understand that I have to do that. And that's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. So, um, let's see. What else? <laughs> I love you too, E. <laughs> I made the right decision for me. Get to focus on my career. It makes me happy. Yes, exactly. Is this a break or will y'all get back together? Um, like I said, we've, you know, mutually decided to part ways. So I saw this coming, did you? <laughs> Huge exhale. <sighs> Keisha, I appreciate it. Yes. And so that's how it is. You know, we love you, Ashley. You're we're your fans. And you are the fan's favorite. Oh, thank y'all. Seriously, thank y'all. Y'all just need some time apart to come back together stronger than ever. Well, the thing is, like I said, whatever's God's will is God's will. That is what's going to be is what's going to be. As of right now, we have decided to part ways. Um, not as in just take a break and come back. Like, we've decided to part ways. And so, um, yeah, you got to do queen things, you know. And that's how it is. You know, he's happy. I'm happy. You know, that's just that's what we do. 
Ashley, I love how positive you are no matter what the situation. Honestly, it does not pay to not be positive. Like, you got to be positive. You know, this stuff is already difficult. It's already hard. And what y'all, you know, don't realize is this stuff was not airing live. So we actually went through the stuff from the show and then we had to relive it to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the stuff, like, you know, the certain dates, certain things like that, we did not see, you know, we told each other about it, you know, but we didn't see. And so when things starts to, you know, things start to kind of hit you like, oh, shoot, I'm watching it, but everybody watching it too. It does get difficult. It does get difficult to, to kind of do that. And so, um, it's just, it, 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 it just was pulling up some stuff that, you know, we thought we had suppressed, but it just, the rug was just lifted up. And you just see all of the dirt we didn't swept up under there, just whatever. Um, yes, Toya, I respect you being able to make this decision. And I appreciate that, seriously. Um, mama been praying, baby. Yes, I know. My mama has been praying, y'all. <laughs> just focus on you right now. You prayed about it and I live your best life on purpose. And that is exactly true. I prayed about it. God gave me peace. He gave me clarity and what I wanted and what I need. So, you know, it is what it is. Thank you for me choosing me. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm not calling anybody. Hello. <laughs> I'm calling on Jesus. Listen, because he's going to have to listen. Okay, so I'm going to make this clear, too. You know, a lot of, I see it all the time. You know, people be like, oh, call this one, call out and call in front of the do this, you know. But, um, you know, I'm not calling a dog on person. My husband will know me, and that's just how I feel. My husband will find me. And I'm, I'm not going after a man. I'm not searching for nobody. It's not even that I want it. I feel like, you know, whatever it will be, will be in God's time. And like I said, my husband will find me next <laughs> and yes i am taking my time before going in a relationship you know i've taken time a lot of time you know um now to even go through what i'm you know what i've had to deal with so i have some great people around me no lie i have some great people around me <laughs> nikki you stupid uh, i have great people around me that keep me sane keep me right keep me focused so what I'm gonna stop rambling. I just wanted to make sure I say that and I wanna um I want to uh kind of open it up a couple, you know, just for a couple people to if they have, you know, anything y'all wanna say or any well wishes or just any words, just whatever. Um and yes, that's what I want. Oh, hold on, I got two questions. <laughs> y'all silly. Next question. <laughs> okay, so maybe this was at the beginning of it. <laughs> so we all want to know the status of the wedding plans. Okay. When God says there will be a wedding, there will be a wedding. But for whatever. I got something to say. Nikki, you always got something to say. Send me a request, girl. <laughs> no, they don't listen, E. They don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, sir. How you doing today? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I tell you, I'm I'm always so happy to see your live video, and um, I thank God for you for whatever thing you're doing. And you know, you said you said the best thing. You said your husband will find you. Who finds mm -hmm. a wife has found a good thing. You're such a wonderful soul. And um, your decision is good, and that's the most important thing. And I really, really celebrate you every time. May God Almighty be with you, guide you through, and um, see your true heart and give you the best of the best you can ever imagine. I pray for you every time. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. What's your name? Ola. O-L-A-M-I-D-E. Ola Mide. Okay, Ola. Look. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for even coming on my live. I appreciate you for watching my live and to yeah. give me those encouraging words and for like praying for me. Seriously, it yeah, means so I do that. Me. And I tell you, like I said, you're such a wonderful lady and may God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And look, yeah. have a great night and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. All, All right. right. Take bye care bye. of yourself. Bye. You too. Bye bye. Yeah.
You're so sweet. Oh, thank you, millionaire. And Keisha, uh, go to eBay. <laughs> um, I don't know where his shirt was. He was chilling. He probably didn't think I was gonna let him in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you must be y'all. We have an inside joke. I wanted clarification. I ain't got no makeup on, child. I'm gonna lose my ass. Like, so, oh, you asked me for this request, so you get this work. What you say? I said you sent this request, so you was gonna get this work. Yeah, I see. Single girl, you know I was single out there on the first day, smoking to Atlanta, child. We ain't never single at the same time, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can have a single at the same time. Yeah, what is going on? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. You said you single? No, oh, I said we ain't never single at the same time. No, oh, I, no. I'm single. I, as soon as I'm seen this, I'm going to be a flight to Atlanta. <laughs> and then he <laughs> well, got in my car and drove. Like, we out here in these COVID streets, girl. You <laughs> said COVID streets, not the COVID streets. Street. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, as long as you happy for you, you know I'm, you know I'm happy for you. Yeah, let the two ratchets, hold on one second, the two ratchetest friends I know, Malcolm just said, we're the two ratchetest light-skinned folks he know. <laughs> thank you, Malcolm, for the compliment. All right, thank you, Malcolm. <laughs> Not the two ratchetest light He plays too much. That is hilarious. <laughs> Girl, yeah. I, I'm happy for you. I was shocked to see the pin. I was like, oh, but I had kind of suspected some things. So. But long as yeah, like, as long as you happy and if he's happy and it was a decision y'all came to, hey, I'm here to support. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think he knew I was going to say it, but we made the decision. Okay. It is what I'm saying. Different when you say it out loud. Yeah, yeah, that makes it. it that makes it real. real. Yeah, that makes it real. It makes it really, really real. You know, and I said it out loud. I just haven't said it online. Yeah. And so, you know, saying it online where especially people ask me every Friday, like, what is going on? You know, so I felt like it was only right for me to, you know, mm -hmm. say. So, yeah, but it does. It makes it really, really real. Yeah, it makes like, it real. Yeah. No, oh, man. I don't know. I'm going to have to check on that baby father of mine, honey. I, I said I Girl, he going to talk talking about shaking my head, man. <laughs> yeah, he, he going through it. <laughs> yeah, he going through it. I screenshot it. I screenshot it. I text him and I circle by him. I'm thinking, oh, man. <laughs> well, now he up here. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Treat. He, he you know, going he still left out. But y'all got to pick me, okay? Yeah. All my friends. Gotta pick me. Oh, Y'all so my so we, get, we get you in the break up. Gotcha. Yeah. Y'all get me in the break up. Y'all don't get both of us. Y'all can't see me. It's not a weekend over there, a weekend over there. It's here. Yeah. Y'all get me. That is too funny. Y'all get me. Yes. <laughs> well, that's what I want you to Yes. Boy, stick. Look, boy, stick. Yes. But thank you, Chris. I want to tell you thank you. Thank you. Huh? Yeah. I said, did you have fun in Puerto Rico uh, before I go real quick? Yeah, I had tons of fun in Puerto Rico. Honestly, I needed it. I think mm -hmm. even going through this, um, uh, you know, with the new water is something that's just really refreshing. But even going through this and kind of dealing with it, mm -hmm. I needed it. Okay. I needed a break. Like, I needed a, a getaway, and it was something that was just like I said, 100% needed. And I'm grateful to even have that opportunity because I it refreshed me. Like, a lot of the stuff really helped me, you, you know, that I was like, refreshed. Yeah. You, you, yeah. yeah. you look yeah. good. I'm I'm going through it. I was up here like, Jesus, no. Like, I actually went through all of the processes that I had to go through, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, like, coming to this point, I feel like, oh, like when I went to Puerto Rico, girl, like sitting in the water, like I just sat in the water just forever, and I feel like it just it flushed it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, but yeah, life is too short to be anything but unhappy, and so I feel like you know why I hold each other back, you know. So, but like I said, you know, I got mad love for him. I love him, you know, but it's just it's, yeah. Well, I know you always, but you know, he's gonna always be. Our family, so y'all yeah. y'all ain't let Tree Thuglands go, so we ain't gotta let him Al go. <laughs> but I had a child, so I mean we have to. Every time. No ma'am. <laughs> all right, all right, y'all keep him. But guess what? Y'all better pick me more. <laughs> <laughs> that is too funny. 
Oh, yes. I yeah. love you, friend. Oh, Thank you for oh, always supporting me and listening to me vent and just oh. being at ear every time I needed it. Always. You know me. How you feel? How do you feel? I feel. We getting in the car. We're going to sit here and cry. What are we going to do? Right. Whatever you're doing, I'm right. Right. Yeah. So we ain't got to pull up on it? Okay, cool. <laughs> no, we got to pull up on it. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show starting girl. I will talk to you. Come on, please. These ninjas in the background, I'm sorry. Yes, it's people. Well, I love you so much, boo, and get it in. Have a good day. You be safe. All right, I'll talk to you. Bye bye. All right, bye. Y'all, I have a good circle of friends. I ain't even gonna lie, I got a good circle of family. Trees, nah, we ain't getting rid of you, Trees. Never. <laughs> glad you kept it real which helped you really dive into the experience and find happiness and yes i think that is what helped me too like i really did i had to um no that's not hollywood sister that's my friend nakisha um but yeah you don't stay anyone to please anyone it's about your peace and happiness yep it is i'm doing well marcus how are you okay let's see we got some questions dang we got a lot did y'all at least in this friends um i would say yes <laughs> I would say yes. I'm on my way to Atlanta. <laughs> um, sir, <laughs> Ashley, you need your own show. Ashley finds love live where we vote and pick for you. Oh, <laughs> really? Y'all want to do it live where y'all vote? You know what? That actually might be a show. Y'all need to tag on and um tag on TV. Do at on TV and tell them. Maybe they'll do it. That actually sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I like your spirit. Thank you so much. Can I just say thank you for picking you, sis? That's the hardest part, and you did it. Listen, you are so right, and I appreciate that because for the longest time, it was really difficult for me to pick myself. It really was because I was afraid of hurting someone else's feelings. That was my um. That was one of my faults is to pick me. Um, so I appreciate that. Yes, I, I'm grateful that, you know, I fought through it and was able to pick myself. So what's up with that guy at Brandon the Brand Lee? Uh, my manager, you want to holler? I mean, he's a nice little chocolate thing. He's smart too, ladies. <laughs> um. Were you close to Hollywood's family? Yes, extremely close. Extremely close. I mean, it's been nine years. So, of course, everybody. His grandmother's like my grandmother. You know, I lost the only grandmother I've ever, I've ever had. My mom's mom, we shared the same birthday. And his grandmother is still living. And thank God. And, you know, it's just been, um, you know, I know it's going to be a transition. You know, it's not going to be easy. It's not by far. It's not easy. You know, y'all see me smile because that's who I am. You know, and I've gone through a lot of the pain, like in private. Um, but you know, yeah, we're I'm definitely close with his family. My zodiac sign, I'm a Gemini girl all day. Thank you, training to survive that you're happy for me. I appreciate it. I wanted y'all to work so bad. <laughs> Thank you. I listen, I appreciate the love. Can I take you on a date? Um, I'm Zach. <laughs> um, no. What happened? Um, life happens. Honestly, things just, you know, we kind of just decided to go our separate ways. Things have been just a little, you know, difficult. Do you keep in touch with the doctor from the show? Um, like on here, but not necessarily like behind the scenes. But I love Dr. Nicole. She always gave good information, good advice. And honestly, her advice on the show and even after the show really kind of stuck with me. And that's what I heard in my head. It pushed me. Like, seriously, it pushed me to make the best decision for me. And that's what I heard. So many times she would say, you know, look at him coming out the woodwork. <laughs> She would always say, you know, you're going, I know you're going to make the best decision for yourself. Like, I remember her saying that and she said it and y'all, you know, I don't want to cry because it's like, it was a process for me that I felt like it was difficult. It was, it was difficult, but I felt like I made the best decision for myself. So I'm going to let somebody else come on here before I get all mushy. Y'all know I get mushy. Oh, Jesus. Nikki, make me laugh, Nikki, please. And thank you. <laughs> Girl, I need you to make me chuckle or something. Y'all eat. 
I get all emotional and it just go crazy, girl. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Ashley, oh, I can't even be <laughs> joyful. We doing therapy today. You made me sad. No, stop it. No, no, we're gonna, we gonna joke in a second, but I'm happy for you. But you made me. Oh, I need to joke now because I feel like it's about to come out. <laughs> oh, get it out. Go ahead and let that out. Like, I no, I have it out so many times. I don't need to cry no more. Because it's, that. I mean, I'm happy. Like I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the thing. Laugh. Hold on, pause, pause before you let that tea come out. I bet you I say one word that make you laugh. It was two words: gorilla glue. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> you are so silly. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Ash, for real. Oh, go ahead and be. I mean, you might listen. You been to what is two hundred sixty seventy five of us that probably watch the show or more. So like, but we mm -hmm. all go through a breakup. Listen, and listen. Don't let the creeps come out now, okay? That, <laughs> Please listen. no. <laughs> listen here, you have all kind of uncles on here, baby. Let me take you on a date, baby. No, <laughs> no, motherfucker. She just came from nine years. Right. No. I ain't got oh, time. That, yeah, I, know. I knew that though. I knew that though. I mean, you could tell. You could just tell. You could tell. But I feel bad. Yeah. I'm happy for you though. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I like listen. I like Hollywood. Like he like has a personality that makes you like I'm not talking about your ex. But now we we talk about your ex, but you get what I'm saying. But I'm you already know how I felt about it. I was rooting for you. Like yeah. I, I swear I was, Ashley. I was like, bro, you should have never got another chance with that beautiful woman. I oh. that shit. Listen. I, Ash, congratulations. That's what I say Thanks. to you. For real, congratulations. That's that's some boss shit right there. Like, yeah. for real. Like, you could have stayed because of love and because of nine years, but, like, like, things happen for a reason. The opportunity to go on, put a ring on it happened for mm -hmm. so many reasons not only career career wise to go get everything that this this world got to offer you and that you deserve like it happened for a reason the opportunity for you to see that like it's about me right and it's not a mm -hmm. mistake by stand but listen that's some bullshit we celebrate <laughs> fuck up listen congratulations <laughs> no bullshit give me your sugar cookies Girl, I know. <laughs> listen, it ain't easy. I'm for real. I'm telling yeah. you, listen, it ain't easy. My, yeah. my my relationship was only three years, and it was really hard for me. Like I was staying because of love at some point, and I like recently was like, nah, and it was hard. But yeah, like, poop, congratulations. <laughs> Listen, and I appreciate that. I think I get emotional because really, I really truly feel y'all like so seriously. I feel y'all like I feel the support, even reading it, like and even talking to the people that I know love me, that care about me, that support me. It it just it just really it feels so good. And even if I cry, it's not the like the sad tears. I've already done that. Like I've already had that time where I did that and I grieved the relationship um, alone. Like I've done that. You know, the thing is, it's just now it's to the point where it's like it's it's happy like i'm overwhelmed because i know it's greatness like i know it is greatness for me to kind of step out of that and to step into my own and say no you cannot just just be okay with whatever you were where you were you know what i'm saying you have to step up and step out and so <laughs> hello yeah. listen and enjoy it like man go get everything that this life got to offer yeah. you i'm so serious like that's yes. real. Like you, you were bright. Like you, you were, yeah. you were a special human, and you can tell that. That's why a lot of people gravitated to you watching the show. So, yeah. Listen, keep the creeps away. Listen, y'all stop. <laughs> can I say this, Ashley? Since you can't say it, handle that. Ashley can't say it. Ashley right. can't say it, but I can say it. <laughs> stop <laughs> asking the same goddamn questions. Listen, listen. I don't want to hear. Where's your ring? I don't want to hear where is Hollywood handsome ass. Go to his page. Right. Because everything is 2000. It's 2021. Okay. Go to his page. Okay. No, you cannot take her on a fucking date. <laughs> okay. No, she don't want Kwame who on OnlyFans. He for the streets now. 
Okay. <laughs> he, he is for the streets. I ain't mad at his house with all this. I ain't mad at you, but you are now for the streets. <laughs> no. For the streets, sir. You are for the streets, sir. <laughs> no, let, me, let me go. I'm on joke time, but no bullshit. I'm happy and thank you for, um, I guess, allowing us access to you, like, you know, following your journey on the show. So thank you for sharing with yeah. us. Oh, thank you. Listen, and I thank y'all. Listen, I thank y'all for just being interested in my journey. So thank y'all so much. Right. <laughs> y'all have fun. Don't ask no more dumbass questions, all right? I love y'all. Look, you said it, but I'm going to co-sign it. Hello, I stamped it. Thank you. All right, y'all. <laughs> thank you, boo. Love, love you, baby. Bye. All right. I love freaking Nikki. I love her. Like, y'all would really think that I knew Nikki before this whole experience. Like, I didn't. Nikki is freaking bana. Like, I love Nikki. Nikki, I'm telling you, you need to make me some cookies, and I'm not telling you no more. <laughs> okay, let's see. Any more questions? Yes, we do. <laughs> Are you friends with the girl who didn't like her boyfriend's child? Um, Shay, yes, I am. She loves the child now. But, yes, we are cool. I'm cool with everybody from the show. We love each other. Happy Valentine's Day to all the ladies out there. Okay, you're trying to get your Mac on. Um, Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Are you staying in Atlanta? Yes, I am. As long as God says the same. <laughs> um, Let's see. Are you going to give the ring back? Yeah, it's pretty much given. But yes. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I don't I don't see the need to keep it. You know, I'm you know, some people say, Oh, keep it, it's yours, and you put all that. Mm -mm -mm. It's his. Yeah, because I mean, when am I gonna wear it? So yeah, no, I'm not keeping it. Um, you going on the show was needed for your support with this breakup. Although you have a good group of friends, this support from your large supporters fans was needed for your healing. Honestly, like my friends could get me through it, but for my healing, I think all I needed really was God. Like seriously but like like a physical person i have people that you know know me and walk with me y'all definitely affected that though y'all definitely affected that like y'all gave me so much support and so much courage to finally come out and say you know what i'm gonna be real with my people and i'm gonna just let them know so of course of course i love y'all um you still bringing up whitney hello Y'all, Whitney Olivia, if y'all need a makeup artist in, in Atlanta, I'm telling she fire. But yes, you can bring over wine, but you're the only one going to drink it. You know I don't drink. <laughs> um, but yes, girl, go to your friend's house. <laughs> Are you really single? Yes, I am really single. Why would I play like that? I want to say your model shoot was fire. Thank you so much. I'm telling you. Um, my manager, the brand, Lee. Uh, Brandon, the brand, Lee. Made sure he had everything in order. And my other manager, Mel, they made sure they had everything in order for me at that shoot. And it was fire. So, yes. L you look at peace. I am. Glad you chose what's best for you. I am at peace. I'm serious. I am very much at peace. William, thank you so much. <laughs> um, yes. Love you too, Black Beauty 84. Let's see. Some more questions. I'm answering y'all questions. Some of y'all don't want to go on, but I'm just saying. Okay, come on, let's celebrate. And we popping bottles, Black Beauty. Love it. So does Kwame have a chance? Um, Y'all, okay, y'all heard Nikki. <laughs> you going to drink for the both of us with? Good. <laughs> How do you feel about being single? Um, I'm fine. Because I know, you know, now I'm focusing on career. Like, I need to get Ashley together, like, with what I really want to do. I'm single. Whoa, Mel. Look, that's gonna be my. That's gonna be my line. I'm gonna just say it. I'm single. Well, tell Peasy he better bodyguard you ninety day probation. <laughs> JP is on vacation. Peasy is on vacation. Yes, some more travel plans. I was actually supposed to be gone um tomorrow, but plans fell through. But yeah. Um, okay, so I got a couple more people that want to come through. Gregory, Gregoire, you are here. Proud of me, self love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All we gotta do is break a relationship. Yo, what up? What up? What up, son? All right, I gotta say this. So what? since you, you know, getting rid of the old and doing all that, whatever, whatever, I got one request. You gotta get rid of them saints. You in Atlanta now? You gotta transition over. All right. You gotta get Rise the move. Up. 
be a father me, fan now. How, I need to remove some. Y'all need to put pineapples all up and through here because. No, 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 no. Listen, you're in Atlanta. Take it on. Come it's on. always the same. Well, it is always the same. This is what we do. Somebody you gotta say get rid you, of New Orleans. Get rid of. Get it's rid of it all, all right? Get rid you of it. They say Come you're on. cute, girl. <laughs> you in the A now, all right? It ain't never gonna happen, baby. It's always gonna be the same. It's all. Hold on. Where's my? Hold on. Listen, listen, everybody, man, get the girl to root for the root for the Falcons, okay? She in Atlanta. Take it on. Take it all on. Dirty bird. Yep. Yep. Do you see it? Ash, get Do that out of here. It. Get it out. Get it out. And yeah, get off, sir. <laughs> Matter of fact, yeah, let me on. just put this in here. Come I'll on. do the whole interview. It's gonna be fit right here. Ash, for real. You already. The hey look, Drew Brees is gone. Hollywood is gone. <laughs> Saints gone. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't hear you. What? Speaking of like yep, tell her, tell her. All day long. What? Hey, we coming back. We back, all right? Y'all ain't back. Whatever. All Out right. of there. All I'm saying is it's the Saints forever. The Falcons or well, the Falcons can go. You already know where. Saints for life, baby. Thank you, Dime Peace. They don't mean that, though. They exactly. Don't mean... They can respect her live. Yes, respect <laughs> the live, baby. You come up here talking about the Falcons, you will get removed. Hey, where you at? Where Next you at? Next caller, exactly. Where you at? You're in the A, right? Like I said. <laughs> All right, all right. Well, look, remember what I said? Get rid of the old, get rid of that old team. Come to not the gonna, new. Not going to happen. Oh, look. All right. Look, I've some of the games, but not going to happen. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Man, well, Ashley, are you single, Greg? That's, somebody asked me, are you single? I am very single. Mm. What are you, three and ten? That's what they say, three and ten. Stop, stop. Listen, look, now, I ain't going to take too much disrespect, all right? We just went to the Super Bowl. What they talking about? We suck. Come on. And nothing y'all did suck. Y'all team was crap this year. When the last time you been to the Super Bowl, Ashley? Whatever. Oh. We've Whatever. been in the last five years. All right, well. Well, well, well. See, I don't, you know, we don't, you know. Greg, stop it. I got to go. I got to go. <laughs> you, uh, you, you be easy out there, okay? I will. All right. Bye. Gumbo says, Get it bye. out of here. Get it out of here. <laughs> bye. <laughs> y'all, that's my homeboy. He owns Urban Air in Atlanta, in Snellville. Okay, so if y'all want to go have fun, I'm telling you, it's, he has like I fly, like all kind of stuff. Y'all got to make sure and go support black owned businesses. He, Urban Air, your kids want to jump, you want to jump. Um, they have it where you can do the little fly thing. You can do go-karts. He has everything in that park. Greg, matter of fact, you need to come pick me up and take me over there tomorrow. All right. I'm just putting... Oh, dang, you in Houston. Um, Yeah, but when you come back. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all, don't let him buck y'all up. Y'all already know. Man, I done sent the live how many times he needs to get in here. <laughs> Hello. He does not need to get in here. He probably setting up his stuff for his OnlyFans uh, thing. <laughs> I love your sweet spirit, and thank you for sharing your family time with us. It was beautiful to see. It reminds me so much of my family. So much fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, we had to, listen, I had to go down there. I surprised my mom. I, I got to tell y'all right quick before I take the next person. Y'all, one of my sisters ratted on the kid. Y'all know it was a secret. I came on here and told y'all while I was packing, it was a freaking secret. And my sister from Cali, hers was a secret, too. She came and it was a secret. But the thing is, um... She called my mom and was like, hey, Ashley out there? And she was like, no, why would she be out here? I was like, hello, I just landed. Why would you tell her? So, you know, she was kind of surprised, but kind of not. But, um, oh, but anyway, back to what we talked about. Okay, so let's see. Um, Dub, you said add you. Dub, you have to send me a request. Well, your mom is so pretty. She is, and she's a sweetheart. Yeah, my family, they, they had fun. I ain't even going to lie, they had fun. I was telling my mom, I was like, Mama, look, you're getting so many likes on this post. Like, she was like, really? Let me see. She was, the lady was all in. <laughs> um, do you think this would have happened if you didn't go on the show? I do. I think it might have taken a little while longer, though. 
and I feel like I may have wasted more of um, my time. More, more of my years. Let me say that. I want to dinner plate from your mom. She's, she's, my mama can cook. Seriously. She can cook. Um, let's see. Did it really get better after the show or did Wood continue with appearing insecure? Um, I don't think it got any better. It was still, you know, it was still difficult. And I think it was a little more difficult because, like I said, he, you know, his family, like his friends, like people got to see it and they had their input. And I think, you know, that made it a little difficult for him to just stuff that I had already told him about. But then it's different from me telling you and you seeing it, you know, so it is what it is. Um, you admire my strong spirit. Oh, thank you. Um... Hello, gorgeous. Can you give us a good slab workout routine? <laughs> slab workout? Oh, ab work. You meant to say ab. <laughs> ab workout. I'm like, a slab workout? What is that? Um, I go to a gym that actually do that kind of stuff. So, um, like, hit me up and I'll tell you the name. It's called Phoenix Fit. What was his friends or family take on the show? Honestly, I feel like that would have to be something that he would answer, you know, have to answer because I'm not probably privy to everything. Um, but I'm pretty sure they probably was like, ooh, this girl on these date, you know. But, I mean, it is what it is because um, my people had stuff to say about, you know, his date. So, you say, let you see what Hollywood talking about now. What you talking about? We need to go to Miami and link with um, Superstar Peasy. Let's go. I'm about that life. Let's go tomorrow. Listen, I need a vacation. Another one. Why are you single now? Because I'm not in a relationship. <laughs> I mean, just to be, I ain't trying to be, but I'm saying. Um, why you guys broke up? Been nine years. Nine years, it does not matter. Like, I don't think the time matters. Honestly, I don't think the time matters. To have nine years, you know, and not be, you know, married and then kind of still on the fence, it's just not time to waste time. So I feel like, you know, things happen and it just goes too far and it's just like you can't, you know, it's kind of hard to come back from. So it's been it's been a little challenge, but, you know, no, I'm not with Hollywood anymore. I was on your side. I understand you fully. Thank you so much, Miss Evans, for life. I appreciate that. Your mom was backing up from you like you had COVID. I know, right? She was. But yeah, nah, um, I appreciate all y'all that had my back, seriously. What happened? We're just not together. Just not together. The time does not matter. I agree. You have to be happy. And that's that's facts. You have to be happy. What up? Well, lamb. And that's why Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> First off, who is that Suge Knight? That just got off your live? Come to death row. I mean, who does right. that? <laughs> Dude. Ain't nobody trying to put 28 and 3. How about that? Right. Don't nobody care about no Belkin. Uh, <laughs> we gonna leave Drew to go to Matt? Not gonna happen. Man, come on. You with that foolishness. You wasted right. your time coming on the live. <laughs> they say, hey, ma. <laughs> go to bed. Right. <laughs> hey, I'm you ain't gonna give me no kiss, everyone. He, he has been riding my back all night. <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah. Yes. Well, so I've been on here. I've been listening. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to say. Do and, and I do appreciate all of Ashley's fans and followers. But do y'all listen? Do y'all? <laughs> I mean, she has said it over and over again. A man does not have to define you. Yes, it, it was nine years, but. Who's to say that the nine years were happy years, you know? All that matter is her happiness, you know? Not that she's been with somebody for, for nine years, but... <laughs> Who was that look supposed to do? Was that supposed I, to shine him up? It did for a little bit. <laughs> help me! <laughs> I said, help me! <laughs> Faith, come on, please! <laughs> crazy <laughs> in all yeah. seriousness you know i mean 
I, I, I like Al. His name is Al. I'm, I'm tired of the Hollywood. Al. I like Al. Mm. I, I really do as a person. But when it comes to, you know, me or him, of course, you're going to choose you every time. Why not? Mm -hmm. What sense yeah. does that make? I'm not going to yeah. stay with someone because we've been together. And you know, that's what people in, the, in back in the day used to do. They stayed together because mm -hmm. they were together 20 and 30 years. And for the kids, they stayed for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. The reason you stay is because you want them, not because you need them, not because you have to have them, but because right. you want someone. I, w I don't want somebody to be with me out of convenience or because they feel sorry for me or because they're thinking about us being together for nine years. Man, damn them nine years. Yeah. I would rather be happy six months with someone rather than unhappy nine years with someone. I, I just don't I just don't want to do it. Time is too short. You only have one life and you deserve mm -hmm. to be happy. So if y'all mm -hmm. don't understand that, that's on y'all. I mean, come on. <laughs> would you want someone to tell you that? Because I know mm -hmm. I don't want my friends to support me being with someone who don't make me happy anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just because I was happy eight years ago don't mean I'm happy now. You know? Like, mm -hmm. y'all just need to think of some of the stuff y'all say. I sit on here and I read the comments and y'all asking the same old stuff over and over again. Kwame is out the picture. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> let him go let the pineapples go please let's get us a new storyline come on that's on Mary had a little lamb let's go Girl, somebody that. just put that on there <laughs> <laughs> where the money resides that's what you want to know where the money resides where the money resides, where the money resides. right come on. <laughs> that's all Louisiana gorilla glue that's all Louisiana all that foolishness <laughs> <laughs> and right honestly somebody even said that too like that's what Egypt you know Miss Egypt was talking about when she came on and I know she was I know I just had to get here you know what I'm saying right. and so you know I'm just happy that I'm finally here but so, I don't want you on, on your live crying even though oh no I'm not I'm not to cry but no it's not time. weakness it's but not it's weakness and honestly e, it wasn't about even being sad right. it's like you know, it's like, it's a new chapter, it's new. And you know me, I'm emotional. Right. I, I I feel everything. I feel, you know, when people come on here to even support me, right. that makes me emotional. Right. Like, I'll cry over that. If you said something heartfelt, I'd probably start well, crying right now. Be because full. Of how it you just be yeah. full of emotions. And ain't nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. But at the same time, you don't want, I don't want to be answering these same old questions over and over. I mean, you you're doing great by even coming on here sharing that you and Hollywood aren't together. I mean, I probably would too because I mean your fans do mean a lot to you and your supporters mean a lot to you and yeah, definitely. you know, of course it's always team Ashley. So mm -hmm. but y'all respect the fact that she don't <laughs> wanna have to repeat the same thing over and over and over and over again. You know, like uh -huh. Lord, let's come with some let's come with some more depth questions like um <laughs> what is she working on? What does she want to do in the future? You know, like I mean there's nothing wrong with her being by herself. I mean mm -hmm. you are your best when you're by yourself. So mm -hmm. yes, it's fed up. <laughs> hear me, please, ma'am. Hear me. Stop asking these dumbass questions. That's it. <laughs> Hollywood. That's why bye it's bye. Look, that's Quantity. why it's pink. Bye bye. <laughs> and I understand that too. Some people do log on after I say everything. I get that, and that's why I don't have but a that's problem. Why Sometimes you got I have a pen. pen. You say I'm single. And I have a pen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what else to put. Look. <laughs> I'm single, whoa. <laughs> right. That's what I'll put on there. I'm single. Let me change it. Let me let me pin that. I'm single, whoa. But, but all seriousness, I am. Thank you guys for supporting her. She is such a beautiful person, a beautiful soul. She deserves everything that's coming to her. You know, this isn't something that Ashley just started doing overnight. She has always been a singer, an actress, you know, just you name it, a model. 
She's always been that. And it was either going to happen right now or it wasn't going to happen at all. So sometimes mm -hmm. you move to better your life and there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. So you yeah. all keep supporting her. Y'all keep rooting her on because she deserves it. She's a beautiful person. She really is. She's one of the best people I know. <laughs> Stop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are. You are. We've been friends for what? 21 years now? Ooh. Don't tell my age. I'm 21. So you know me from birth? <laughs> no, since you were four. <laughs> I'm 21. <laughs> since you, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Since birth. Okay. All right. Hello. <laughs> I mean, you are young enough to be my child, huh? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> right. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. But yeah, but thank you. I appreciate it. it. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate you for having my back. Yes, ma'am. Always. Yes. Ma yes. All right. Love so you all well. have a good day. And all right. I'll talk to you all later. All right. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye bye. Oh, it's not letting me hang up. You hang it up. Oh, there she go. <laughs> um, I told y'all my age, yes. I'm 21. That's all y'all need to know. <laughs> Thank you, my Gemini sister. I, I appreciate that. And yes, I thank you for wishing me well. Thank all y'all for wishing me well. Seriously. Like all my like she's actually my real friend. Like I met her in college and no lie, y'all. Seriously. She's gonna keep it real and raw. And uh E, they said when you gonna do the uh next skit. <laughs> she should have did one for put a ring on it. That would have been hilarious. Um I am 21, Nikki. Hush. Bite your tongue. <laughs> Um, do you think Drew Brees will really retire? I do. I actually do. I do. Oh, the comedian. Yeah, she's funny. Isn't it? Yeah, she is. <laughs> she is a great friend. Like, seriously, I'm not 41, Dawn. Not at all. Don't play with me. I am a tender. I am 21. Um, girl, where are you getting this 41 from, Jesus? It's not accurate, love. <laughs> um, what the cookies? I know I need to make some cookies. Nikki, I don't need no cookies. I'm newly single too, and I'm more Gucci now than ever before. Listen, sometimes that's what you have to do, and, and congratulations, like you know. How's ATL? ATL is it's cool, y'all. Listen, I'm kind of scared to go out <laughs> as much. I got a couple people out here that you know look out for me and make sure they take me where I, you know, like show me the ropes and show me and Tamika all the time. Like I always go with Tamika and Vince. We always going out. Um, millionaire, don't be telling my yeah. <laughs> did you enjoy your my beautiful island, Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico, I did. Seriously, I love Puerto Rico. I'm ready to go back. It was amazing. It was wonderful. Um, y'all, I ain't rushing to go over there and get no food because I just ate. If they would have told me about food, I would have been over there doing my live, okay? <laughs> um, let's see. What else? Did it take you long to heal? Um, I don't think the healing is 100% done, but it took, you know, it took some time. Like, I really took time. I took the time to make sure I healed and make sure it was, you know, but yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have a few more questions. I ain't staying on here all night, y'all. I'm not... Cause y'all gonna keep me on here, and I'm not. <laughs> I always choose you. Yes. Where is um? He's probably at his house doing an OnlyFans video. Okay. You healing? Yes, I'm healing. What you cooking? I didn't cook. I went out and got some wings. That's one thing ATL good for us, some wings. <laughs> yes. Yeah, stop asking about him. God will bless you in His time and continue to share your beautiful spirit. Thank you so much. Yes. And that's what you know what I want to do. Take my time to heal. That's it. That's what the kid gonna do is heal. <laughs> he said, throw him away, Lord. <laughs> y'all are funny. Cause it's so funny. It's like some of y'all be like, eh, and other people be like, mm-mm. Move out the way. Stop talking about that. Um, but yeah, uh, Ashley, God has big, big things for you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I do believe it. I feel it. Y'all know what's so crazy is that I do feel certain times like I felt like a shift. Like I actually felt the shift. And so um, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for it. I just thank y'all for being here with me on my journey. Like seriously. Um, but yeah. Uh, Millionaire, it's been, you know, 
we've been transitioning for a little while now, you know, since the show. We've been transitioning, kind of trying to see if we can work it out, trying to see. Um, but we just we just couldn't get it back. And not even that we're trying to get it back. We just couldn't get, you know, the new beginning. So, but yeah. Thanks, Nikki. New beginning. Yes, just saying you said you was done with the chapter, so let it be. Mm -hmm. How was it? LL Cool J. Ooh, fine as ever. <laughs> As you always say, you ain't staying late and then end up having you doing your whole nighttime routine with us. I know. I'm not doing it tonight, though. I'm telling y'all, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I got, a, I got, you know, a few more minutes. I'm not staying on all along. Maybe he had to move out the way for you to get the blessings. You know what? Maybe. And, and that could very well, you know, be the case. How long have you been in Atlanta? I've been in Atlanta since the end of May of last year, of 2020. So, and then we started shooting the show. So, <laughs> okay, let me ask a few more. You like late nights with Ashley. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, what you say? I've been in a 10-year relationship with three breakups. We are trying one last time, praying God sends me a sign as well. Honestly, uh, real Christina, I would say be intentional about it. Like when you pray, like really pay attention. Cause I ask God, I'm not even gonna lie to you in certain areas of my life. You know, I'll say a certain prayer and the prayer that I pray is God remove the people that are not supposed to be here and bring people to me that are supposed to be here that you want in my life. And no lie, it could be friends, it could be family, but somebody gonna show they behind and they gonna remove themselves. And I, you know, I feel like even with this situation, I prayed it, you know, like, God, if it's for me, allow it to be for me. If it's not, remove it and give me the strength to deal with it when you do it. And I feel like a lot of the times in situations, not just this situation, but other situations, when I pray that prayer and I don't allow God to move it and I try to hold on to it, it makes it so uncomfortable. Like he, it, it becomes so uncomfortable where it's just not bearable. And I'm telling you, so I would say, be intentional about it, pray, and really open your eyes. Like, if you really want to see, you're going to see. If not, it's going to be so difficult to where it's like you're going to keep getting hurt to the point where it's not going to be good. So I would definitely say that. But it's your own time and two. Don't let anybody rush on anybody, tell you whatever. Because when this, when if you're done, you're going to know when you're done. And it's the most freeing feeling, like seriously, because, you know, it is. It just really is. I prayed the same prayer and lost my man and so-called best friend. When you pray, you got to be ready for, for God to move. That is so true. I'm so serious. That prayer is no joke. I had a friend that I was friends with for, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, like 15, 16 years, right before this show, something happened. I like I Well, right before, you know, right before the show, I prayed and, and said that prayer. And that next day, it was like, our friendship was over. Like, so serious. Like, so be serious. You have to be you got to be ready for it. But yeah. Yeah, it's the weight off your chest to release, release that negative energy. Yeah, definitely. And I'm so, like, seriously, y'all, like, I think y'all y'all don't believe me when I say I be feeling energies, and I don't need to feel all of that. <laughs> you have amazing energy. Stay focused on yourself and stay beautiful. Much love from Texas, always. Thank you so much, baby girl, 8504. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, you know. I appreciate that. Oh, just saying, but thank you so much, girl. Um, yeah, but yes. Ash, have you had to see Hollywood date another woman again? Um, I haven't seen it. I'm not, I don't know if he's doing it or not. I mean, I mean, he's single, so he, you know, he's able to do what he wants, but I haven't seen it. But, you know, haven't seen it. Not again, but since y'all broke up. No, I, I haven't, like, seen it, you know, but. Just saying. Hey, Candy. You and Fly Guy done? <laughs> Somebody catch me up. I'm late. Just read the pen, boo. <laughs> um, but yeah, read the pen. Mm. So you think the next man has a chance if he's not over the top with showing you love? My thing is, you don't have to be over the top. 
Did you tell him he was going live? No, I didn't. Um, do you have to be over the top? No, but you have to. I do love love. I am a lover of love. So I can't, you can't just be like not affectionate. I don't need you to be over the top. I just, you just have to be affectionate. You have to allow me to be affectionate. I like to hold hands. I like to kiss. I like to cuddle, you know, I like that kind of stuff. So as long as you like to cuddle and rub feet and <laughs> then I'm cool. Like I'm cool. <laughs> All the extras is land yet. Yeah. Ashley, I'm in a relationship for 13 years and felt so stuck. But after watching the show, I'm so much aware now and just ready to do me. Thanks a lot for just being real. And I can so much relate. Oh, thank you so much, KK. Um, I appreciate that. Honestly, that's what I wanted to. If I was going to go through this process, I know it. I knew that it wasn't just going to affect my relationship, but I knew that it was going to touch somebody. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to be as authentic as I could. I wanted to be as transparent as I could. So if there was anybody, which I know in the world, there are people that are going through the same or similar situations um, that, you know, us on the show were going through. So I wanted y'all to be able to get some of that counseling too. So some of the stuff we were going through, I laid it bare. So if you're going through it, it's something that you can get from it. So I'm I'm happy that, you know, you were able to watch, you were able to relate and that you were able to get something from it. Like, I wish you nothing but the best. Like, seriously, because I can understand. It's hard. It's difficult. You get attached. Yeah, tell him, but what? What I got to tell him I'm going live for? Why break our hearts before Valentine's Day? Oh, I didn't mean to break y'all heart. I just wanted to tell y'all, because first of all, I'm going to tell y'all how y'all do me. Y'all get on here and be like, what you get for Valentine's Day? Well, what you got? What you what, what Hollywood doing? Where he at? If I post a picture, I can't post nothing. Like, y'all don't go on his page to ask about me, but y'all do the same thing with me. Okay. But um, I just wanted, I didn't do it because of Valentine's Day. I did it because it's Friday. And God laid it on my heart to do it now. So. Nobody rubbing them feet. Oh, huh. you'd be surprised, baby. <laughs> I love your energy and spirit, and you will be all right. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, real Jenny from the block. <laughs> um, what happened to the guy? To your guy? Oh, you had multiple days on the show. With, um, he's at home. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Christian Keys, what's going on? <laughs> um, love is not about looking good with somebody. I'm so happy you were real with your feelings, regardless of how others saw it. People get stuck in relationships not being real with their feelings. That is true. That is true. And to be honest, y'all, like he's an amazing looking, he's an attractive man. Like definitely, I love a fine man. Like love a fine man. But the thing is, after a while, you know that kind of stuff it wears off and you see real. And that's the thing with Hollywood, with Al. I love him, you know, for who he is, you know, and I see past all of that. Like, I don't see that anymore. So even, I don't see that anymore to love you. I don't see that anymore. And it does affect me when certain things become unattractive to me or some things become extra or more or too much that I just feel like I can't, you know, go roller skating again. Actually, I am going roller skating again. Uh, me and the girl, like me and the, um, the girls from the from the show, we're going to go skating and have some fun. Yes, just a girl from the BX. I am. Calling me at home, rubbing baby all himself in the shower. <laughs> Nikki, why are you a clown at all times? <laughs> um, let me see. Some more questions and, you know, I will be out. I'm not going to keep y'all on here all night. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What was your biggest fear about walking away? Because I'm sure it was very hard. <laughs> okay. Moments of transparency. So the thing is, I think, you know, a lot of times as women, we stay, especially when we, you know, get to certain ages and stuff. I'm not that type of person that just have to be married, have to be this. But, you know, it was fear of the unknown. It's fear of starting over, of like, you know, because just how I know him, he knows me. And it's so easy for me to, you know, just sit here and he knows what I want. He knows what I like to eat. He knows how I like my food, how I like my water. Like, he knows certain things. So that kind of stuff. And, you know, I think sometimes it plays in your mind. Like, you really feel like, am I going to find, is somebody going to find me that can give me what I want or give me what I need in a relationship? Like, can I find that again? You know? And so that was a fear for me. Like, 
what if you don't? And then I had to shake that off. Like I was telling somebody yesterday, I was like, I had to shake that off because I'm like, God ain't going to just let me down. You know what I'm saying? He is going to do his thing, <laughs> you know, and I, I feel the same for him. You know, it's, he going to do his thing for him too. Everything that he wanted and desire, if it wasn't in me, then, you know, he'll, he'll get it. Just letting you know we're friends. Let's do brunch. But real talk, I wish you nothing but the best personally and professionally. God got you, period. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Trini Jim. I appreciate that so much. Yes, I know he got me. I do. I know he has me. I'm going to let somebody come in and then I'm going to answer some more questions and then I'm going to be out. Um, but yes. Comfort zone is a real thing, but you cannot operate in your greatness. That's what I've realized. You can't operate in your greatness while you're in your comfort zone. You cannot. So, see, you should have went with... <laughs> Listen, it wasn't about him or him. Like, it wasn't about either or. <laughs> what would you... What is this question? What would you say to other women who are stuck? I would say what Dr. Nicole would say. Either you are stuck or you're unwilling to move. You know, and that's what you have to realize. Are you stuck? Like, are you like you can't go nowhere? Like you can't? Or are you just not willing to move? Because nobody's holding you hostage. Well, nobody was holding me hostage. Let me be clear. Nobody was holding me hostage in anything. I think a lot of the reason why I did not move my feet is because, you know, other variables, you know, not wanting to like I'm a perfectionist, y'all. I don't like to lose. Like, seriously, I'm so competitive, like in game and whatever. I'm like, I don't like to lose. But it's crazy because, you know, that can keep you stuck. That can keep you in something where you're just like, I'm going to just sit here because I don't want people to be like, oh, she ain't got, she ain't married yet. She did say she did. Nah, you know, and I, I did that, you know, just the same face, but nah, I want to be truly happy, you know, and he made me happy. I'm not going to say that he didn't, but I want to be truly happy with my husband. I want to be all in. We about to be in love. We about y'all about to be like, I'm so disgusted because they're so freaking cute. Like, you know. <laughs> but yes, newly single crew. <laughs> Can you explain both situations, please? Um, what situations? Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Good advice. Um, you outgrew that ninja five to seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, when did you know? You know what? It's weird because I kind of knew for a little minute, but I didn't want to face it. You know, I think that's what a lot of the struggle, even at the end of the episodes, like reunion, I knew it, but I didn't want to verbalize it. Like it was going to make it so real. And so, you know, <sighs> I had to do it. <laughs> Your spirit and energy is amazing. Keep God first. Your time is coming. Thank you so much, Nessa. You cannot operate in greatness if you're comfortable. Yep. So true. Is Detroit too far? <laughs> too far for what? <laughs> stuck or unwilling to move? Okay. The difference, like I said, being stuck is if like you literally, you cannot physically move your body. You know, that would be for me the only reason you would be stuck. Some people feel like they're stuck because they have children or, you know, they just bought a house together. Like they feel stuck because of those things. But in all actuality, you're not stuck. You can always find a reason to better yourself. You can always find a reason to pull yourself up out of whatever you're going through. So that's why I feel like when she said that, like a lot of times we just say that, oh, I'm stuck. I just can't. I just stuck. You're not stuck. You're just not willing to move. Like once you really fully examine your situation and say, well, what do I want? Then you're going to know if you're unwilling to move. And that's the thing. I felt like I was, I had become unwilling to move. For whatever reasons. I want this person to be like, oh, I told you so. But this person to be like, ah, I told him that well, I wasn't going to marry you. Nah, sometimes you got to let that stuff go because it doesn't matter. It's about your happiness at the end of the day. Uh, for me, once I fully accepted being alone and single and just being happy with me, that's when my husband found me. And truly, I already know that. And that's why I'm just like, let's go on and get this process going. So I took this opportunity while I was alone, you know, to work on that. And I purposely did that. You know, I was like I said, y'all, a lot of times I use the word intentional um, because that's what I had to be. I had to be intentional about this world. I had to have good people around me to speak life into me. When I when I'm telling y'all I do these 
positive things. I do it to encourage y'all, but I also do it to encourage myself because, you know, you just don't understand how that really does affect you. I have some really great family, really great friends that I consider family that, um, that keep me that keep me covered. Like, seriously, when I want to quit and be like, I'm going to just give it, they be like, girl, sit down somewhere. <laughs> Meditate. Go pray, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank God for your freedom, Ash. What a great chapter awaiting in front of you. Some people will come with you, but they can't go with you. True. You had that moment of clarity. I did. Definitely. And that's what I wanted. Who moved out? Um. Well, I moved to Atlanta. So, <laughs> I guess you would say me. <laughs> too far for me to dm you and be friends you just ended a relationship i wouldn't disrespect you or come across crazy yeah i ain't got time well i appreciate it though look i appreciate the love i'm just healing right now you know man you about to be get rich god fair and fine man that rub them dirty toes baby first of all they're not dirty but yes go on and speak that into the air come on come on god fair and rich man that loves the mess out of me how about that that ain't got no problem rubbing my head. She about to be in Crumb DMs like, hey, Bicky. I'm not about to be in nobody DMs. I don't think the second power, I don't think you heard me when I said I don't chase after no man. That ain't gonna be the kid. You're so inspiring. Thanks, Ash, for your transparent. Thank you, Miss Shoes. Listen, I tried to do what I could do. <laughs> Creeps. <laughs> Mickey, I heard you say it. Like, that's the crazy part. I heard you say it. We appreciate your authenticity. Thanks, Tamika. Like, seriously, boo. And I appreciate you for constantly hearing me run my mouth. <laughs> what made you pick ATL because I picked ATL because I love um, that's what career my career path is here and so I picked here to get a new start wait y'all broke up girl look at the pin yes fine China <laughs> yeah and I don't know why they think I'm an all a man out here like I can get chemistry with somebody else <laughs> I'm just joining I'm sure this was asked already <laughs> Girl, yes, it was asked a million times. Okay, let's let a guy come on here. Let's see what another guy has to say. Because Ola came on here. I think it's his name. Um, you got some is to say today. You right, Tamika. I do. <laughs> I do have some stuff to say. Um, and now I'm gonna say it. Okay, y'all about to get it. <laughs> um. Uh, I guess he didn't want to come on. It's okay, sir. Probably backed out. Hello. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know I joined. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> I just clicked. How are you? Oh. <laughs> it's funny. It's every I know. It's funny. I'm sorry, but since I'm here, how are you? I'm good, sweetheart. How are you? I'm pretty good. It's funny. My sister, um, I sent her something, and then she was like, oh, I'm listening to Ashley live. I was like, oh, let me, like, hop on and see. Mm -hmm. So I just hopped on and say hello. <laughs> hello, darling. Wishing yeah, you I'm all the best. I'm always following you on Twitter and Instagram, and I see you with your beautiful family and your mom. You guys are definitely <laughs> twins with those beautiful dimples. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate. It. Thank you for coming on and watching, and thank your sister. Thank you, sister. <laughs> I know Michelle. <laughs> it was Michelle. <laughs> Morgan, five, eight, one, That's my sister. Hi, sis. I look crazy. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta show my face. <laughs> you do not look crazy, girl. You I look do beautiful. Look crazy, all. No, you don't. You look but beautiful. I'm wishing you all the best. Um, Thank you, sweetheart. I'm happy that you found whatever makes you happy. And you yes. will find a beautiful man that's going to love you just like you had in the past. Yes. And yes, I'm wishing the same for me. Wish the same for me, Ashley. Okay, I'm pushing it back. Let's I'm pushing it. I wish the same for you, baby. I'm pushing high it back. High right, high five. There we go. We're going to find these loves, right? <laughs> you hear me? Well, they're going to find us. These loves going to find yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. God is going to put them in front of us. And we're going to be like, ooh, mm -hmm. we're not going to go seeking. At all. Right there for That's us. It. Yes, just be in the right place at the right time. At the right time. Exactly. Yep. Aw. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're Have welcome. a great night. Thank you. You too. All right, babe. Okay, bye. bye bye. Oh, she's so sweet. She's so sweet.
<laughs> Underwood Quentin, bruh, she picked you. Next time, be patient. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, of course, we do not chase. I don't get it. We're not chasing men in 2021. Um, you guys seem like y'all be great friends in real life. I know, right? She is really cool. I just like y'all, I make friends with everybody. I love everybody. She is sweet. She is a sweetie pie. Okay, Steven Stack, let's see what's going on, Steven Stack. Let's get some male testosterone up in here. See what you guys to say. What up, Steven? Hey, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> well, first of all, I'm happy you let me uh, come on. I loved watching you on the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. Of course, I, I let everybody come on. But thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, actually taking time to follow me, even to come here, you know, so I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's mm -hmm. nice. So I just wanted to encourage you. Um, I'm, I actually did want to see you leave. Um, mm -hmm. I, uh, I just thought it wasn't a great fit for the person that I saw you to be. Yeah. Um, and I do think that you outgrew him. Mm -hmm. um, and whether, you know, I don't, I don't really care who you get with. I just want to see you with a good man. So, like, I'm not mentioning the person that everyone was uh, dropping in the comments. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, I just, just want to say I'm rooting for you. Really enjoyed like I said, the spirit about you. Um, and I really do think you deserve the best. So really, really, Thank cool. you. Um, you seem happy. Um, and uh, just love and wanting to see you be in a place of wholeness. Yeah, I mean that there's not, there's not a man that's going to complete you. You're already complete. 100%. Are. And I've seen what you said, talking about God first. I'm definitely with you on that. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm just hoping to see you be whole. And if you want to be with somebody, that you get with somebody who's also whole for you. Yeah. And yep. you partner together and, uh, and do great things. So mm -hmm. this is just really, really cool to be on uh, and talk to you. So. Thank you. Listen, I appreciate the, the great words, the positive energy, you know, the well wishes. I really do. And, you know, you were very observant as you was watching the show. So I listen, I appreciate it so much, really, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. And, and I wish the same for you. I don't know your situation, but I wish the same for you that you have that happiness. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, you made him watch. Huh? We Did you make him watch the show? I had to watch it together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, yeah. good. I loved it. I, listen, thank y'all both for watching, like, so much. Really, really, it means the world to me, like, that y'all watch and even want to come on here and talk, because normally it'd be the women that want to come on, so I appreciate even as a man coming on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. But, no, definitely rooting for it. So yeah, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm I'm married. We're going on 11 years in, and I'm just like, yo, like my heart would hurt when I would see you hurting in there, cause I'm yeah. like, oh, like she deserves better than this. Yeah, you know. So that's why. I yeah. Said, just seeing you smile, you just look healthy. Yeah. And I. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Listen, that means a lot to me. Like, it's like seriously, so much. Like, it means a lot for people to see that in me, even watching it, or to and then to see it now. Like, it means a lot, and just to even give me well wishes like that as a woman, as a man. Like, that means so much, and I take it like wholeheartedly. Like, like seriously, it means a lot. And thank y'all. Seriously, look, I'm working. Look, I'm working. I'm doing the work, y'all. <laughs> And yes, congrats on that 11 years. That is amazing. God is good. Listen, listen, girl, you got a nice articulate brother over there that look, <laughs> <laughs> that know what he won't know what he said. And that has that compassion. You, you can't, you don't find it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so if, if ever, if you ever, mm -hmm. if we live in Charlotte, but Atlanta's not that far away. We'll, okay. We'll through food on us. 
Hey. Okay, listen. <laughs> y'all slide in the DM and let me know where y'all at. If I ha happen to go that way, I'm talking about, I don't know how far. How far is Charlotte? Like, uh, like three to three and a half hours, just depending on where okay. you are in ATL. It's not bad. My, my brother stays out that way. So I, I can go stay with him and go, and we'll go see you. Okay, oh, listen, we might have to hook it up. Y'all seem like real cool people. I ain't even going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all so much for coming and joining me tonight. Seriously, I appreciate it. And y'all just don't understand how much y'all actually poured into me. So thank y'all so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Y'all have a nice night. Love y'all. All right, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, that's so sweet. Listen, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. A man that has a heart for women like i love it i love it it's just amazing he was an amazing man okay come on now we getting some more testosterone up in here oh okay listen i'm gonna let three more y'all come through gentlemen because we always hear from the ladies y'all wanted the uncles uh nikki now the uncles are coming through <laughs> they were definitely a cute couple definitely um sir oh i thought you was laying in the bed you in the dark hello uh, okay hey how you doing i'm good how are you Good, sis. Good, good. Yeah. So, uh, I'm asking, uh, what, what's going on? What's what's going on? What's new? What, what you mean? What's going on? <laughs> what did you talk about? I'm sorry. I'm just catching up. You didn't see my pinned comment. It says when you guys broke up, been nine years or something. I'm sorry. Well, it just says I'm single. That's what it says on the thing. That was my pen comment. It's just that I'm single. Oh, okay. That's not necessarily a bad thing. No, it's not. I just was telling it. I think it's a good thing. You know, I think it's a good thing because uh, it centers it centers where you're at right now. It keeps mm -hmm. it centered. You know, you're not compromising who you are as a person. And then once, you know, people tap into the reality of who you are and what they want, then they, mm -hmm. you know, they buy it, they go for it. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's, you're not uh, enabling people to continue to do the same thing over and over and over again. That, mm -hmm. That's not what love is. That's love is actually sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. so, uh, it's a good thing. Thank God. Yeah, and, definitely. Hopefully now you can take some time to breathe because it's been a minute. It's been a minute in the relationship. Hopefully you can take some time to breathe and um, actually get to, a chance to know yourself and who you are. And I already know that you are. You're a confident person. You know who you are. You know who you are in God and all that stuff. And that's great. Boy. But I think now uh, when you take mm -hmm. this time, you get to know yourself when you come out a little bit later you know exactly what you want you know who god's leading to you and you know, it, it's not it's not all this work relationships are work but they're not work they shouldn't be work you, you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, i get it i definitely get it but but there's a genuine love that people have that's unconditional. You know, one thing I think, like us men, I'm gonna just be honest. Do you have a do you have a minute? I'm gonna be honest. Your I'm your reception is going in and out. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of times we have this fantasy. Hello. Oh, oh. I lost you. Dang. No, for real, your reception was bad, sir. <laughs> Shantae, leave me alone. <laughs> um. Okay, Margas, darling, Marcus Sullivan, sir. Now this is a radio extraordinaire back in Houston. What's up, whoa? Yo, it's been <laughs> so long, girl. What's been so long. Don't listen. Yeah. I don't usually jump on the lives, and I, I I just got home. And I just saw, I'm looking at the pen comment, you single. what I miss? I'm single, sir. No, no, sir. <laughs> it, it's been so long. Uh, I'm not going to get no, on headlong and, and, and be like the other guys. But, uh, you know, I rock with you. Whatever, Whatever going on in your life, you know, keep God first uh, for whatever your situation is. You're still in Atlanta, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So I guess I need to go catch up on my on my DVR to see what's going down in your life. Hello. Can you get on it? <laughs> no, please. And thank you. I know you're busy talking to the world out there in Houston and TMZ and all of this, but can you can you get time for your girl? Uh, yeah. Um are you okay, so do you are you still traveling or are you just in Atlanta right now? I'm just in Atlanta right now, but I mean I, I travel occasionally. We but. got we got to link up. I'm I'm just seeing your comment. I'm not even finna get on here and be like all the other guys, but you I mean, everybody that's watching, everybody that's commenting, you got the what we saw on TV, that's you, and you got a real heart, so just continue to be you, all right? Yeah, I'm, for sure. Thank you I'm so much. I'm going to come back to you. Let somebody talk about Marcus, please catch up. Of course, I'm going to catch up on hey, it's a whole, It's a whole other vibe, for real. But no, I rock with you. I'm always rooting for you, okay? I'm going to get on here and yeah. watch everybody else, all right? Yes, thank you. Have a good night. All right, guys. All right. Yes, Marcus. Marcus, catch up, sir. Um, but yeah, y'all, y'all are so funny. I really do be reading the comments and I be trying not to laugh. Uh, Mark Jack, he is. Ash, you need to be on TV. I do. Well, again, you mean Look. hello? What's going on, Cree, Cree One Queen? How you doing? <laughs> I'm great. How are you? Great, great, great. I saw what you was posting about, about singleness and relationships. Mm. And so I've been posting a lot on my, my page about relationship tips of the weeks and all that stuff. And yeah. just encourage you, like, you enjoy your single life. Just continue to do you. Be what God has called you. Be the best you could be. Continue to have the high self-esteem and self-reliance. And God will bless you with that guy who's going to come in and he's going to meet you right there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I just want to be on this live just to encourage you. That's all. As a man, I listen. I love to hear the men speak. Like you don't understand. You know, women we do it all the time. We're normally, you know, used to being emotional or just dealing with that. So to hear a man speak and a man say that it means a lot to me. It does, and I appreciate you for watching. I appreciate I appreciate you for coming on and you know saying what you're saying. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. No doubt, that's what we're here for. So of course, thank you. All right, Have a good night. Okay. You too, you be blessed, all right? Are right, you too. Take care. Bye. Nikki, stop it. <laughs> I want the uncle to come on here so I can um, Nah, seriously, I appreciate all y'all for coming on, seriously. But it does, you know, it is amazing, you know, when, um, you know, when a nice God-fearing man comes on here and start talking. <laughs> be the best you, of course. You have a place coming up? No, I'm a place. I'm about to say, what we got groceries? No, nah, yeah, we got a little groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Did you watch the show? Because I remember, what is this? Sam? What's your name? Sam? Sam? Nah, no, no. Who was your name? Fred? It was right. Fred. Right, right. You are the guy that came on after reunion, didn't never watch the show. Right, right. I ain't never watched it. Well, I watched it afterwards, but I'm. I'm, oh, I'm I ain't up to the day to the last minute, but I watched it. Come on, Fred. You got to get on it, Will. I watched it. I watched you it, Will. Huh? You did not. You just told me you did not watch the whole no, thing. No, I said I'm not I'm not up to date to afterwards when, when you broke up, but I watched the watched majority to, to know what's going on. You feel me? <laughs> Sir, what's you up? are. You all right? But two episodes. Lord. <laughs> no, but, all right, that, that's that's supporting. I'm, I mean, you know, that's what it's about, right? You got to support me fully, though, Fred. I, I, I know, I, I know, I know. But you know, I was late on it. But I, I, I knew I watched enough to to know what's going on. You feel me? Well, thank you, Fred. I appreciate it. Thank you. You all right tonight? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed. No lie. Like coming on here and clowning with y'all, it makes my soul full. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Right on. <laughs> what you uh, what you think about being single? Hold on. Somebody said, "Can I move the question box?" I don't see a question, but let me move something. Okay. Um, what I think about being single? Right. I think that it's gonna be what it be. I mean, I'm I'm fine with it. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Right. Are you single? Yeah, I'm single. I'm so single. what do you what you feel about being single? Single is uh, you know, you, you gotta you gotta get to first. You feel right. me? Right. But uh, mm -hmm. whenever she comes, she comes. You know, it, it ain't no rushing. 
you know, don't rush yourself to a, a relationship. A relationship gonna find you, right? You know, uh, that's that's the great thing about single. And single is more of, like I say, finding yourself. It's not an attachment to to two, you know. Yeah. But um, single is great, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, you like James Brown say, you you nothing. You you feel me? <laughs> well yes but thank you so much Fred for coming back I'm not even gonna mm -hmm. lie I'm gonna let you go on and put your groceries up I don't want them to spoil <laughs> it look but thank you for coming through again and I appreciate you even if you only watch one watch the rest of them Fred but even if you only watch one I appreciate it for real right on you stay alright have a good right? night alright you too okay. alright bye why are y'all so crazy, Jesus? <laughs> y'all funny, yeah. Um, I think listen. All right, for real, no lie. Eleven o'clock, I'm getting off. <laughs> so we got eleven more minutes, y'all. Eleven more minutes. <laughs> hey girl, hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I feel like we're friends. I watched the show. Um, you are, darling. <laughs> and we just want to, what happened? You're single? Yes, ma'am. What happened? I'm single. Look. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel? I feel, I feel fine. You know, it's, you know, you go through stuff. It's a relationship. You know, it's it's been nine years. So you, you know, you get attached and you got to kind of, kind of break that attachment up. So, you know, it's just things happen, you know, and it's just, it's just been a little difficult to get it to the point where it's something that we both want to deal with, you know? So, you know, we just decided amicably to part ways, so. Are you guys still friends or like is it just yeah. kind of like okay we're we're moving on and that's it? Yeah, I mean, I think I've I'm friends with every guy that I think I've ever dated just cuz I'm cuz I'm a cool chick, okay? No, let me stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> right, but I'm saying so I mean, I feel like we'll get to the point where we can be cool like that, but you know, it's a lot that goes into it where right now, you know, it's not like I, we can just, we just going to be sitting on the phone chilling. You know what I'm saying? So, right. I mean, we're amicable. It, was a, it wasn't a, a a horrible drag out breakup or anything, but, you know, so it is yeah, what it is. I totally, I get it. Um, as, a, as a fan and just somebody just watching the show, um, we, me and my girlfriends, we've talked about, you know, a lot of the couples on the show and it's just like, you know, we get so attached to you guys, feel like we know you in real life. Um, and then, you know, we just want what's best for you guys at the end of the day. I think right. genuinely there's a lot of people out there that really just liked you two together um, yeah. and just, just in general as people. So it's nice to hear that you've, you know, you guys are figuring out what you want and, yeah, definitely. You know, I hope you don't feel like the show really like broke your relationship or do you feel like no. it was kind of going where it was going to go anyway? I feel like it was going where it was going to go anyway, but I feel like the show, um, it kind of opened my eyes a little sooner than and gave me some tools that I, I didn't have, you know what I'm saying? Which is why I would stress to anybody to go to counseling, go to therapy, talk to somebody, get some stuff because it's certain things that I didn't realize that maybe I was holding on to or dealing with, um, that therapy really brought it out. So, um, but I think it just, it just made it, it just made it clearer for me. The show really made it clearer. It did what it was supposed to do. And it was definitely, uh, eye opening. Dang, somebody just put that. It was definitely eye. It was definitely eye opening for me, um, yeah. and so I, I'm grateful for the experience. Seriously, because it helped, you know, help my life. So, but thank you so much, girl, for coming on and talking to me, and I appreciate it. And thank you for being invested in watching the show. I appreciate it all. Yes, I wish you the okay. best. I hope you thank use this you. platform to do whatever you know it is that you want to do, and you know you have some supporters now and. You know, Definitely. I hope you can use that to do what you got to do. So, yeah, thanks for having me on.
Thank you, boo. Have a good one. Bye. Bye bye. Nikki. The show highlighted what? Okay, this thing ain't even let me scroll no more. Seven minutes left. Seven minutes left, y'all. Seven minutes left. And I'm serious. I'm getting off. Get, get, getting off. Okay. Seven minutes left. Um, Anything y'all want to talk about before I let somebody else come on here? <laughs> um, what's with the cookies? Um, The cookies. That's why Mr. Pino put his OnlyFans page up. Why? Why he put it up? Because they don't have nothing to do with me. <laughs> um... I can't leave. You can't hold me hostage. I got to leave. Y'all going to keep me on here all night. And y'all know I'm going to be up in there washing my face, doing a little routine. I already took my bath and I'm clean. So I ain't got to worry about all that. We ain't on jail. Call talking about seven minutes left. <laughs> um, Who are you talking to in jail? Love? The show is a blessing for you to make. Dang, I hate that it's not letting me, like, I can't scroll no Let me see. Maybe I need to put a question up here and then. No, it's not doing it. Y'all are my family. You forgot all about your friends from the show. They invited you over earlier. I know they did. I love you too, Mish. Love you too, Shelly Poo. Y'all love my lives. I love y'all too. It's COVID, not in Atlanta. Exactly. Atlanta don't think COVID is real, okay? How old am I? 21. I said it like over and over again. I love you too. You sent me messages. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry, y'all. This stuff is going quick and it won't let me scroll back down. So I just got to see who the last person in text. We all know somebody that's in jail. I know, right? You really happy for me? I only have one life to live and live it to the fullest. Thank you, fine China. That's what I intend to do to the fullest. Don't leave. Stacey, I got to go. I hope you do more live videos. Of course, I'm still going to come on live. Like, y'all act like I'm breaking up with y'all. I'm not breaking up. <laughs> Can't wait to see you on the big screen soon. Yes. Yes, put that in the air, love. My birthday is June 21st. Are you giving me a gift? I'm just saying. Nikki, you got to bake me a cake or some cookies or something. I see your heart in pain. Dang it, I can't go back. 21 Savage in the building. <laughs> What's 9 plus 10? 21. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. You're only 21? Yes, I'm only 21. Hello? <laughs> Ash, 1115. Why 1115? Seriously, why 11.15? What's the significance? Maybe 11.11. 11. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the text, sorry. Ash, it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> oh, Brandy, stop. <laughs> Tyler Perry will be calling soon. Come on, y'all. Listen, this is why I love y'all, because y'all speak so much life into me. And when I say that, when I say you got to get people around you that speak life into your vision, into your goals, into what you want to do, I'm telling you, Y'all do that for me. Y'all really. Wow, you're mature for 21. I know, right? I am. Get your appeal box. Oh, yeah, I do need to get a appeal box. Love your accent. God, leave me a second. Oh, thank you. Um, Ash, I am not. JB, you don't know how old I am. Kwame coming on at 1110. Well, good. He can come on at 1110. So I'll be off at 11 o'clock. <laughs> Man, Ash, you got the... What? <laughs> If I get a number, I'll be calling soon. Mm. Okay. 11.21. Stop it, Mr. Jones Photography. Y'all really be trying to keep me on here all night. <laughs> oh, you definitely going to get them rolls. Um, hello. You hear me? Proud of me? Thank you. Go live when I met Tamika. <laughs> I'm about to tell him I'm to come get you. And see. Listen. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all. Why me? Is doing the thug thizzle. Let that man live. 11 11. That is my time. 11 11. Listen, stop asking about. Thank you. Please stop asking. Where were you before ATL? I was in H Town, baby. Um, Yeah, I lived in Houston because of Hurricane Katrina. I left New Orleans, moved to Houston, and lived there for 15 years. I actually moved to Cali for like six years in between. Uh, I mean, six months. I mean, six months. But um, do I have a lesbian twin? No. <laughs> we ain't leaving, Ash. Miss Chooses, stop it. <clears throat> and yes, I came. I came. Um, yeah. After 15 years from H Town, I love Houston. Love it, love it. Matter of fact, I gotta go back soon. Um, 
Yes. Do you know Rasheed from Ready to Love? I do not. I do not. Thank you for being true to yourself. Thank you. Yes. How was Cali? Cali was good. I was just always hungry. Like, <laughs> I was always hungry. Dang. Your family didn't have to relocate to Houston. Um, Actually, my family did. My family relocated to Houston. But then um, at the time, my dad was still living. He wanted to go back to New Orleans so bad, y'all. So my mama, you know, like my mom and my daddy moved back to Houston. So I mean, to New Orleans. And then eventually one of my sisters moved back to Houston. And then my brother moved back to Houston. So I figured you were single now. How did you figure? How? Because it's at the bottom. We love you. I love you too. Y'all love my realness. I listen. Thank you. I appreciate that. I try to do that. God is watching over you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I I try to try to be, you know, Ash, we got 15 minutes. No, we don't. We have one minute. Okay, we got 12 minutes. I'll give you 11 11 because that's the time. I love you and put a ring on it. Oh, thank you, Rep. Oh, Tim Smooth. Yes, rest in peace. It's my brother. Tim Smooth was a rapper in New Orleans. Were you living in LA when the hurricane? Dang it. I'm trying to like read it because I'm telling y'all it's not letting me scroll. I was living um in New Orleans when Hurricane Katrina hit. Yep. Definitely. Um in New Orleans. Do you regret anything as far as what? As far as what? Good luck on your new journey. Thank you, nephew. If you're 21, how old is Hollywood? You have to ask him. <laughs> so happy you stood up for you. Thank you. That's what I had to do. You just joining. Okay, you're going to have to watch the live, love. I'm going to save it for you so you can watch it. <laughs> I love how you give us more time. Because <laughs> y'all just listen. I love y'all. <laughs> oh, y'all y'all RIP into the um, pineapples? Yeah, please don't ask any more dumb questions. Can't believe I'm 21. I know, me either. <laughs> Add another uncle. Let me see if another uncle on here right quick. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Um, nope, no more uncles. No more uncles on here. You know what, my girl Heather? Heather, I'm letting you come on for a little bit. Oops. I'm letting you come on for a little bit. Hey, Heather. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, I'm sorry about your breakup. <laughs> but you, it's you'll, okay. You'll, but but you know what? I know deep down you still care about him. I mean, you can't. Sure. You know, you can't. Oh wait a minute, he's cute. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I was just watching some. What's it called, man? Um, have you ever seen that show? Um. Mm -hmm. oh, love and marry. Oh, that's that love and marriage thing. But, but I'm like, you know, but deep down, you know, you always will care for him. And, you know, you guys all support each other no matter what. Right? I mean, you can't. Of course. Of course. And thank you for being so supportive, Heather. Like, I appreciate the love and the support and the great words that you give to both of us. And thank you for the support. And thank you. And that's like, oh, yes, Hollywood thinks I'm going to, like, making this like big stuff i don't know what you think i'm gonna do but i'm like okay you know when i have a chance i mean you know it takes time to like make this like video whatever you think i'm gonna make them <laughs> well good luck with that heather good luck good luck. Know, that's right <laughs> but you know you need to go on your spa day with lj cool day Yes, I do. I'm going to spa day. I need a, a trip too. That's you know, I'm gonna take another trip. Might you head need, back you out need today. It, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep, I do. And that's what I'm gonna do, and I appreciate it. I can see the sadness, but I also see the smile. Now you keep that smile because you're you're a very beautiful gal, and you're only 25. I'm 21. Oh, 21. Thanks. Excuse me, 21, 21. But yeah, but um, well, we'll talk again. Yes, we'll talk again. Thank you so much, Heather. Have a great night, and I appreciate you. Yeah, Thank you. you. Okay, bye-bye. I can't stand y'all sometimes. No, I'm serious. I cannot stand y'all. I don't know why y'all do this to me. <laughs>
But yes. <laughs> Great. Right. I see nothing but joy either. Like, too. I mean, yeah. Love you too, bring the bean. Oh. But what's up with everybody in this internet connection? I don't know. Everybody in internet connection is just horrible. Good night, M. Conky. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But yes. Hollywood a good dude though. Definitely. Most definitely. He's an amazing guy. I'm I would never talk bad about it. I'm not saying he's not a good dude. He is a very good dude. Very good dude. I appreciate it. I know I'm gonna work on my poker face because I I'm telling you, I'll be reading y'all comments and it's just like I just can't stop laughing. Like I just can't. I mean, like, where's Hollywood? He's in Houston. This is getting fun. You're just so real. Thank you. He can be good dude, but not her person. And that's true. And I listen, I would never take anything away from him. I just want to make that 100% clear. I would never take anything away from him. You know, the time we had, the good times were amazing. You know, just right now, it's just, it's just what it is right now. You know? Right. No more. Where is he? No more. Yes. And I'm happy you were rooting. For us, I am. Thank you. How long are you gonna be on live? Um, sir, no, one, two, three in the morning. It's not you're right, Nikki. I'm not answering it no more. <laughs> um, I'm not being on here to no one and two o'clock in the morning. No. Did he move to Houston? No, he's he's always lived in Houston. Um, right, exactly. <laughs> y'all so stupid. Listen, I appreciate y'all be having my back. I ain't even gonna lie. Like y'all be having my back, my front, my sides, and it means the world to me. It means the world to me. Y'all don't understand. Right, y'all follow him, go to his page, see where he at. You ask him where he at. Um, or am I gonna be offering any personal training? No, I don't really personal train. I mean, I mean I might have some stuff in the works though. So stay tuned. Um, B, if you still on him. Get your life together and get on it. Mel, you too. Both of y'all. Um, yes. I had a sad mood today listening to Whitney Houston. Dang, that thing going fast, I'm telling you. <laughs> Reason, season, lifetime. Yes. Definitely. I believe in that. Let the people pay you for coming on late. People pay me. What? <laughs> what? Phoenix rising. What's up, girly? Yes, give us all the workouts. <laughs> Sky the limit for you. Keep moving on. Thank you so much. Ooh. Hey, you driving, boo? No. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me fix the camera. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> oh my gosh! I've been trying to get you. You would not believe what has happened to me in the last when I first requested you in the last ten minutes. I went outside to my car and didn't know my, my my back tire was on a flat or almost clearly on a flat. I had a little bit of to make it to the gas station. And this guy, God is so good. This guy helped me. I was like, God, you are so good. But I was oh, I got I'm gonna get I'm gonna pull over because I wanna say hi to you. Just give yes. me one second. Okay. <laughs> I'm the I'm the one that always is messaging you saying I'm your Gemini twin. Oh, do you? Do, a lot of times, some of the messages, if it's not like if I if I go to this like request one, I yeah. it'll, it's like tons of messages. And it's like I'm not ignoring people. I just don't. See oh it. no, you re, you responded. You I responded to me because okay. I was telling you both of my parents are from Louisiana, but my mother yeah. she's my mother's deceased. But um, mm -hmm. anyhow, when you were talking about, I totally relate to you when you say. Um, how it's hard and, you know, you, you, you trying to just, you know, maintain and, you know, keep yourself occupied because when we get locked into a situation where, you know, you're comfortable with someone, you know, that person knows you. So it's like you begin to like just kind of, you know, you just get in a zone where you just put up with certain stuff, you tolerate certain stuff because you're comfortable and you like, you know, this person knows me, I know them, you know. Yeah, and that's that's what it is. Even though you know, 
okay, I, it's time for me to grow beyond this, but you know, God knows and yeah. you don't you getting through it you know and yeah. it is amazing when you when you get into yourself and you learn you know you learn about who you are as a person i mean mm-hmm. it is just and i'm so i'm sure that you are just like having a time and enjoying that time um right now where you're at girl i'm trying to figure i'm trying to get this my I don't know if you it's like it's circling like it's frozen but i can hear you which is so weird but, yeah, yeah, but it's okay. Uh, Listen, I'm gonna have plenty of time to come on live, and you'll be able to come on. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I appreciate the love that you showed to me. In yes, my, and even now, like seriously, I appreciate it. all. I just ask is just continue to keep me in your prayers. You know, to you know for strength and everything. I just well, I, appreciate I got that. you, girl. I got you. That's why I was like, I want to talk to you because. I got. I could tell you some stories. I'm a DM you, matter of fact, because I'm like, we need, we need to talk. <laughs> but you, you are doing amazing. I'm not gonna hold you because I know you're ready for bed. Shut it down. But you yeah. are doing amazing. Keep celebrating yourself, celebrating life, and Thanks. doing what you're doing. You know, taking care of you, the inside and the out. You know, because you're beautiful inside and out, and God is going to direct your path. Thank you so much. You continue to keep Him first and keep that beautiful spirit you got. Thank you so much, love. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And look, drive safely, ma'am. <laughs> I am. I am. Okay. I am so. I'm just happy. My tires. I'm good. I'm straight now. But yes. you have a good night, Ashley. And um, I'm gonna message you. I'm gonna DM you. Okay. Okay, boo. All right. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Why? Oh, y'all. Crazy. Yeah, she is amazing. Oh, well, you talking about me? Brandy? <laughs> you say bye. Not nah, Ash, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> You're such a sweetie. Love you and God. Oh, dang. I hate that I can't read. Like, I can't stop them. Um. Why does everyone feel like this breakup is going to break you? Honestly, I don't know. But listen, it's not breaking me because I am made by a stronger person. Like my person is stronger than Gorilla Glue. He made stuff to make Gorilla Glue. Okay. So I feel like it's going to be strong. Like I'm going to be, I'm going to be good. And listen, it's times y'all I've had my moments like seriously in here, like, but I've gotten through it. Like I've gotten through it. Not saying that, oh, I'm over. It is never going to affect me. Nah, you know, it's certain things. You always, you hear stones, you smell certain foods. You know, it is what it is. But right now, I just think, you know, I thank God that, you know, he has me where he has me. Uh, she don't know you famous. <laughs> what? <laughs> it won't break you. At all. At all. Yes, yes, you 100% will be good. 100%. Thank you. And I I appreciate it. Yes, y'all, I know y'all have me. And that's the thing, too. Like, seriously, when I know I got people behind me that come from, like, y'all go hard for me. And that's what I love. And y'all stay positive. Y'all stay with me like that. Like, and y'all, y'all make sure y'all reinforce already the positivity. And that's what I need. So, listen. As long as I got all y'all, my supporters, my family, my my cousins, all y'all, my cousins, as long as I got all my cousins, I feel like I'm good. Like, for real, I'm good. Yeah. And what does not kill me will make me stronger. It's made it final. Yeah. And that's true. A lot of the times, you know, especially as women, we might, hey, Melina, we might um, feel like, oh, it's, it's over. It's this, it's this. But, you know, in our head first, that's how women are, you know. Be direct with the kid. <laughs> Be direct with the kid. Yes. Um, season two is coming, y'all, for put a ring on it. I do want to say that because I got a post uh to advertise for it. If y'all know anybody that wants to get on put a ring on it, they're they are casting for season two right now. Um and um yeah, they're casting for season two. So if you're in Atlanta and you're at a crossroads, you know. Just in case I miss what comment. You have a beautiful spirit. Thank you. We support you whole heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, but yeah, 
Season two is coming. I guess we gave them a good show. <laughs> I guess they got green lit. You want to? I'm telling you. I'm going to post it and make sure you hit the people up. Um, am I afraid of Hollywood? Definitely not. He's definitely not an abusive man. He's he's not at all. Superstar fit. I'm telling you, you can um apply. If you're in Atlanta, you can apply to be on it. Yes, I was on a glass house. Um, where do I send you flowers? Um, <laughs> come and get a PO box. You can send them there. <laughs> yeah, check your DM. I'm gonna ch listen. Put it out here. You ain't got to say check on them. <laughs> um, but yes, I always check my DM. I might start getting my manager um to check my DMs for me and start responding. No, I'm playing. I, I always respond to everybody. I like actually talking to y'all. Nikki, hold on. What time is it? It's probably very important. To, dang, I love Hong Hollywood. It was just real. Okay, dang it, dang it, dang it. I can't read y'all comments and I'm drove right now. But it's okay. I'm not. <laughs> love the show. Thank you so much. God has a lot of good things coming for you. Thank you, April Foster. I, uh, I really appreciate that. Like, seriously. I believe that wholeheartedly. And then to see it, you know, I feel like God confirms certain things and he validates certain things. And, you know, and he's using y'all. Ash, we get 11. No, you don't, Nikki. You don't. I'm supposed to be going over there by Tamika and them. You don't. Hollywood will be back. Um, For what? Hollywood's funny. I have to meet him. Yeah, he's hilarious. I don't think your DMs are going to be super duper lit. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to be lit at all. Good night, Miss Mean. Oh, JB Beauty Supply, black owned. Hold on, come back. Uh, say something because it went. I can't scroll back down. But yeah, y'all go support black owned businesses, not just during um, not just during Black History Month, but definitely during Black History Month. I see God putting you in movies. I'm ready to see. Hello, I'm ready to see it too. Yes, thank you for speaking that greatness. Be safe and be happy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Would you do another show? Um, I'm focusing on acting right now. If it was something that was focused kind of on that or on me, I don't want another, um, you know, craziness. Seem like a good person, just a little immature, which is okay too if you can rock with that. Yeah, you know he is a good person. He's a very he is a good person, but you know, you're not going out. You took a bad. I know I already took my bad, which means I'm gonna have to take it again if I do go out. Continue to acknowledge God and he will direct your path. Of course, always. That's one thing is never going to fail with me. I already know. Y'all, when I tell y'all like certain prayers that I pray and I pray and I ask God, I say, God, I want them. I want people to see you when they see me, you know? And I think that's why my energy, a lot of times y'all comment on my energy saying, oh, the positivity, your energy is so good and stuff like this, because that's really what I want. That is really my desire. Like, and my other desires, I don't want anything that God doesn't have for me. Like, I want his will. And I always say, even if it's something that I don't mm -hmm. want, I mean, something that I do want, but he does not want for me, I'm telling you right now, I don't want it. I don't. I do not. So, music, I do sing. Y'all listen, God blessed me with a lot of gifts, and I'm appreciative of them. And I want to use every single gift he didn't gave me, okay? Um. Right now, my focus is acting, but you know, if I gotta do whatever, I'm gonna do whatever. But yes, um, Hearst, Texas. If you're in Hearst, Texas, do you ship JB Beauty Supply? Do you have an online store? Put your link down so people can follow you. But yes, um, I don't want, at the, especially at this point. And y'all know, seriously, when you get to a certain age, too, as a woman, you get to the point where you just, um, you just get to the point where you know what you want, <laughs> you know, and it's like, it's hard for you to just, you know, just put up with the things you don't want anymore. So right now I feel like that is it. Whoever is my husband, like he, he got to just be ready. Cause I ain't got time. <laughs> if it's not equally yoked, it will not work at all. I heard you sing a little bit on the show. Did they, did they let me sing? Mike is really cool. Yeah. I'm telling you all of the couples are really cool. Ashley, do you have a P.O. box? No, I need to get one. I'm going to get one soon. Seriously. What you trying to send? Well, 
I'm here for you and Aunt Tab together. Oh, she's so cool. Oh, that would be so dope. I love her spirit. Yo, I'm telling you, I love her spirit. Tabitha is so amazing. Like, sis, that would be so dope. So dope if I got to do something with her. So dope. Facebook, JB Beauty Supply. Y'all check it out. What about the fitness world? Are you taking, talking to anyone about doing commercials or anything? Um, Hopefully we'll get that popping really soon because I know y'all, you know, I do. I, fitness is very important to me. I love it. I want it. And so that is something that um, I'm definitely have my managers working on. So Mel and B, if y'all still on here, handle that. Whoa. <laughs> um, thank God for your freedom and your courage to make such a big decision. Or Ashley. Yes, definitely. Yeah, when you know what you want, you can't settle anymore. It makes it so difficult. God makes it so hard where you're just like, even if you wanted to, you couldn't. You know what I'm saying? So, Brandy! Yes, love. Yes. Um, but yeah. Um, so why is for 21? I know, right? <laughs> I'm very wise for 21. Why everybody got their cameras turned around? How many plugs you got, sir? Did they give you the plug? Hello? Are you there? No. I'm telling you, why is everybody a little service out tonight, Jesus? Y'all need to switch to the network. Okay. Sorry. I tried to let you in, sir. Um... Yes, what God has for you is for you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Monica. What's up, sis? Yeah, did you get a dressing with You can tell that God is all in you. I hate that I can't go back. Uh, hey, E, what you saying? Uh, hello? What? I miss you, too. What in the fire has is going on? <laughs> Why are y'all so stupid? Y'all, I'm not really 21, okay? I'm 21, but I'm not 21, okay? <laughs> Listen, just know the kid is 21. I really wish I can, like, scroll back down, but I can't. It's so messed up, and y'all be having some good, real stuff. I wish, you know, what I really wish is that it would keep the comments, like, after I post it. You know what I'm saying? But it's not. Please. Uh, don't nobody ask me about nobody else but Ashley. Okay? And if you ask me about somebody else, read my pinned comment. Please. I love you too, Monica. Read my pinned comment. I'm in Atlanta. Restart your life so you can read the comment. I don't want to restart this live. I'm not restarting it. This is over. It's one and done. Um, but yeah. I need to see if Tamika and I'm still over there. Because really, I don't need to be traveling out this late, but I'm kind of tired. I think I might chill tonight. Thank you for clearing that up because they was really stuck on you being 21. <laughs> I know, like they really stuck on it. But I am, I'm 21. <laughs> hey, Sheila. Don't even respond, Ash. I know, right? I'm not even going to respond. What you said, Nikki? Make your next relationship as strong as I hope you put Gorilla Glue because I, I couldn't see it. It went I can't read too fast. Straightforward is the same way. You single? Coach Jazzy. Do you see my pin comment? Of course. I am. <laughs> 21 minus 9 equals 12. What is <laughs> it's been far from you? Um, they're actually at Mimi's. Um Verify the time your live starts. Hmm? Wait, what? I don't know what you're talking about, live. You don't get no 30 minutes for them plugs. No, you... <laughs> Who surprised you when we was hanging out? Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. That's what I want to know. Are y'all doing something? What y'all doing for Valentine's Day? Because I'm going to be living through y'all. If I don't go nowhere, I'm going to be living through y'all. Um, you heard, ain't you? Who heard? 
it's time for Asher to get quiet before the OnlyFans get him. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> he can have them OnlyFans. <laughs> Listen, because y'all my OnlyFans, okay? Y'all like how I did that? I'm telling you, he can have them. And I hope he eat pineapples on the lot, on his OnlyFans page. <laughs> Do I know what it's about? What What's about? You don't like Valentine's Day? Why? I like chatting with you. Oh, thank you. I'm single too, Wo. <laughs> I got y'all saying, Wo. <laughs> um, what time does the live start? Oh, I love you too, Trumaine. I think that was your name because it went too quick. I can't scroll back. Um, let me tell y'all, Kwame is not here. Thank you. Um, make sure y'all go to my page and hit the um hit the little bell because it'll give you notifications when I get on here, so y'all don't have to be like, dang, I missed it. You know. I know you say you're going to say it again, but for some reason, it's just going too fast. Like, I'm serious. It's going too fast where I can't read. I can only really read the last one. Sitting on the couch watching movies, chilling with my dog and a nice glass of wine. Okay. Look. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can only read the last comment. Like, because it just, boop, boop. I need one-on-one -on -one time. One-on-one -on -one time? Sir. Yes, I am. Yes, Sheila. Hey, my boo. Yes, I am. You know, all day long, born and raised on a playground is where I say most of my... Oh, okay. Are you going to give him a chance? Give who a chance? Jesus? Jesus gets all the chances. <laughs> She's beautiful and someone's coming in due time. Oh, thank you, love. Yes, 504. Y'all see it on that chain. Can I be your baby daddy before you turn fought? You know what? Stop it. 504. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah so karaoke and drinks for um valentine's day oh that should be fun hang up and try your live again no not with um don't ignore me what, what ignore what um no that does sound like fun it's really nice you try to engage with everyone yes i do i try to engage with everybody i love y'all hello hey brandy what i'm telling y'all Mm -hmm. It's going so fast. If y'all saying something, I'm missing it. After such a long relationship, you just gotta. Mm -hmm. it. You got people that pray for you. You know what? <laughs> I know y'all probably getting drove with these repeated questions. Well, I mean, she is not with how she is single. Thank you, Brown Sugar. Thank you. Look, y'all just read the comments. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, stay safe in these COVID streets. Ignore some of these people. I am, because half the time I can't even read all of the comments because it's only showing me one. <sighs> Please read the pinned comment. <laughs> Be nice to ask. She's our queen. We love you. Oh, love you too. Love you too. What's the point of, of your jokers keep asking the same questions? Right. What is the point of the pin? Thank you. It says it. Oh, I wish treat me to a meal. Do you have daddy issues? Be real. No, I do not. Not at all. My daddy was the man. Okay. No daddy issues. Why would you I'm just saying Brandy? Yes, we gonna hang. You still in Louisiana, girl? Or are you in the ATL, Shouty? I can't with some of these questions. Look, me either. Like, it's just crazy. Because some people, I just feel like they're just talking stupid now. Now I feel like it's like trolls coming on here. If you don't know her, ask her if we can chat. What's your future your future projects? So I'm working on some stuff right now. You know, I had that photo shoot um, or some stuff that's coming up big. And right now I've just been auditioning and kind of getting some stuff together, working with my management team to get a lot of great things going. Yes, that is just fun. Um, So... That's what I do. Hey, Nick. You're in Kenner? Okay, girl, I'm going to hit you up when I come back to New Orleans. Thank you for cursing around because, I listen, y'all know I don't curse, but it's just like um, people do the most. They really do the most. They ask the stupidest questions ever in life, and I don't understand why. I do not. Add someone. Okay, stop shooting your shots, sir. Ashley's focusing on Ashley. Hello. Thank you. The photo shoot was nice. I know, right? I'm telling y'all. Nathan Piercy uh, is... Hey, sis. Hey, sis. Oh, shit. Hey, sis. What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> you 
that took too much energy. Listen, listen, I'll tell you this. Why, I can't, hold on. When I send you that request, you better add me, ma'am. Oh, Lord. Don't be happy over here, Whitey. <laughs> I miss you. Say hi to my people. <laughs> <laughs> She's the other Puerto Rican princess. <laughs> Get out of like a man. I'm chilling, sipping my wine. <laughs> girl. It's been raining, girl. It's going to rain until next Friday over here. Oh, good. I didn't come back out there because I was supposed to come back out there this week. I was supposed to be out there tomorrow. You went back to Puerto Rico? No, not if it's raining. No, I'm not there right now. I'm in North Carolina right now. Girl, you stay traveling. <laughs> I live here. Oh, you do? I thought you lived in Puerto Rico. Yes. No, I'm from there, but I live here. You forgot? <laughs> no, when I was Ma there, you were in Puerto Rico? No, I was here. That's why I was mad, because you didn't tell me. You forgot. Well, you should have said my number. <laughs> and hit me up like you were supposed to. <laughs> Because, you know, your inbox stay popping, and you should have come. I would have gone and met you there. I just travel. I, look, that's how it's supposed to be, though. Listen, when I saw your pictures, I wanted to come and start in, but I was just so tired. I fell asleep with my phone in my bag. I was like, I'm not going to let her know. When I saw the pictures, you see where you were at at the Garitas? When I was younger, girl, I used to go snow pot with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that no more. <laughs> well sometimes now nah, I just get it <laughs> <laughs> listen that, I used to hang out there all the time when I was younger and that's a bad area actually that's called La Perla okay it's like it's like We're, the bad about... well you know when you took them it's pictures not, it's not bad no. in, in San Juan Puerto Rico do you remember when you were over there and you take pictures in the garita? No. So it's the old San Juan. Okay, I remember going, but I what what part of taking pictures at? Well, you know, it's like the beach and down there it's like a cemetery. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a castle. It is a castle, yeah. That up there, mm, I don't know now, but she say not anymore, but back in the days, yeah. It's one entry, one exit. Oh, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah, now, nah, but back in the day, girl, hmm, it's a lot of people out there floating with the church. Yikes. Yeah, when but, I saw you, I said, oh, Lord. But, but yeah. it's cool, you know. Did you like it? I did. I loved it. I love any place that has a beach and water. Any place. As long as it's beautiful. As long as it's calm, as long as it's relaxing, that is good. So, were you done with what we were doing? I don't know. I, I don't want to put your business out there, but like, I don't know if you already talked to the people about it, about whatever you was doing over there. Oh, um, I, I'm not done with it yet. Mm -mm. Okay, well, I'm not gonna say anything yet because I don't want. Yeah. <laughs> so, is it done yet or no? No, no, no. Mm -mm. It has oh, I guess so. <laughs> Listen, Dr. Nicole, she sent me an email and it was too late and I forgot. Oh, yeah, to do the thing. I know I wasn't able to get on it either because um, my mom's birthday was that day and so I was traveling to go see my mom. But yes, girl. But yes, oh my you God, I can't believe your mom. Oh my God. Ashley, y'all got some strange genes. I know. They're, she they're is gorgeous. <laughs> now I know why you're so pretty. I love you so much, my baby. We got to hang out. I can't wait to meet you in first though. My goodness. I got to go to Lucia. Well, you in Atlanta right now. We only five hours away. Five hours? Are you in Atlanta, right? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Like, it's it's five hours, right? From here to Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah, five hours, right? It's a little bit over. Over? Maybe five, six hours. I think I, I do I five it. hours. I drove Eight hours. No, girl. No, 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 no. Five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, what you got going on? What, what, what's popping? Girl, right now I'm about to, well, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to go to sleep or go over there by uh, Tamika and them. Be kind of chilling, kind of eating and kicking it. I Tamika might go. be feeling herself lately. Look at all cute. <laughs> That is my boo boo. But yes, boo so girl, I'm probably about to get, I was supposed to get off. Um, at 11 11 it's 11 32 so uh, look it's about to be time so but yes boo 
Um, well, thank you for coming on. I haven't seen you in so long. Thank I know, you. I haven't seen you in a while. I miss you, girl. You too, love. Girl, <laughs> mommy be looking like a whole snap. <laughs> Hey girl, go join that um OnlyFans club that he got, girl. I I, I'm not a comedy fan, but you know, <laughs> he killed <cute though. laughs> right. oh Y'all have the rest of her drinks. She don't need nothing else. <laughs> she said, "Y'all can have the rest of my drink. I don't need no more." <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, we gotta dance, we gotta dance some reggaeton together, mommy. Come on, come on, mommy. I'm you down. Know, <laughs> that will be fun. Oh my right. god! All right. Yeah, no, she from uh, uh -huh. New York, uh, New Orleans, right? Yeah, from Louisiana, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but yeah, I love I it. Over there. People out there are crazy and they party a lot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, I know. Uh, I okay. love Louisiana. It's crazy. I was up there one time on late shows. Mm hmm. Girl. But yes, love. Well, I, I will hit. Later and um thank you for coming through, boo. Of course, always, baby. You my girl, you already know what's it. Ah, keep it <laughs> <laughs> keep it real and sexy, baby. <laughs> She's gorgeous. <laughs> my friend pretty, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but Ashley is pretty. <laughs> I love you, Ashley. Too pretty Say hi to Tamika. Yeah, yes, I make will. sure make sure she stays smiling. I hope she don't cry. <laughs> Of course, she's not. She's she might listen. <laughs> she wants to force me out. <laughs> Bye, girl. Bye. I love you. <laughs> All right. Um, we get no more time. I know y'all just like anything. The pineapples, the uh the cookies. She want no, she don't, Nikki. <laughs> okay, let's see you. I'm trying to look to see. All right, yeah, I think we're done, y'all. I think we're done for the night. And I appreciate y'all. Seriously, thank y'all for everybody that tuned in. <laughs> thank y'all for everybody that came through. Thank you for everyone. I don't know why you made fresh popcorn, sir. We about to be out of here. <laughs> but thank y'all for like all the encouraging words and for the love, the support, continued love and support. Seriously, it means the world to me. I can't say it enough. You know, it means the world to me and i and i love y'all for it thank you thank you love y'all for it and thank y'all for having my back i just ask that y'all continue to keep me in y'all prayers you know and and you know let's just move forward let's just make 2021 pop and whatever it is let's be positive let's just let's do what we do yes y'all can put the cookies five minutes calls i do not have any minutes calls <laughs> from anybody i'm telling i don't know what y'all talking about ain't nobody checking for the kid right now okay let me stop. Thanks all day. Yes, make sure y'all got me covered in prayer. I appreciate the love and having me covered. Um, Benny and BJ, I'm not playing. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. But yes, God bless y'all. I thank y'all for everything. Seriously. Ashley and Jesus 2021. <laughs> I am going to take care of myself. I brought me air pop aside me popcorn. Team Ashley. Yes. Y'all got to be team Ashley all day. Y'all got to be if y'all here. Unless y'all just know it. Look. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all. Like, seriously, thank y'all so much for the love. No, I hit up nobody from no show. And I Ashley ain't hitting up nobody from no show. Okay? Ashley, God is going to send whoever he needs to send when it's time. Okay? Go we'll see what, so y'all can, uh, okay, good. I'm happy that, <laughs> I'm not going to see what nobody doing. Can't wait to hear about your next project, Ash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Blessings, blessings, blessings. I must have missed something. I don't know what you missed. You need a Negro spiritual. What Negro spiritual? I'm saying again, back on the <laughs> I'm not about to play. <laughs> you missed the news. Just look at the pinned comment, love. Look at the comment. Uh -uh. I don't think y'all can hold me to midnight. I don't think you can. Self-care is so important. It sure is. It sure is. Think I want something sweet, but I don't feel like going all over there for no cake. Did I announce what? Whoa. It's kind of like a friend. 
That's what it means. It means like a friend. So, you know, um, you know, it's kind of how like we say, hey, boo, like in New Orleans, that's how, what's up, whoa? It's like, just like your friend. So, she ain't getting off live because she keep recounting. I am about to, get, listen, okay, I ain't about to read nothing else. Nothing. Not a dog on comment. So, thank y'all for joining. Now it's time to say goodbye to all my company. <laughs> but yeah. Um, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Me and my woes, of course. Thank you. <laughs> um, Nikki, you don't get no more minutes. I gave you more minutes because I was supposed to get off at 11. It's 11.38, love. You get no more minutes. We're going to go live again. I don't know why y'all act like y'all, you know, for those who missed it, she's single. Yeah, read them comments. <laughs> she put the hand up. I sure did. Now y'all ain't got to ask me nothing. I caught the bed live. What? I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Nikki, you are my homie for real. Yes, good night, cousins. All of y'all cousins, I have 180 cousins on here right now. So good night, cousins. Y'all sleep well. Make sure y'all say y'all prayers tonight. And um, I'm not going nowhere. I'm probably going to sleep. I'm going to call Tamika and them see if they still over there, but I'm probably just going to chill. Um, who's still asking? Who cares? Yeah, everybody say bye. Bye. And I'm about to hit it. Bye, bye, bye. Peace out. Y'all. Never mind. Hey. Night, y'all. Night, booze. Good night, 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 night. Bye until next live. Nikki, bye. Love you too, Miss Choosy. Mm -hmm. Peace.